What's up? Hey, look who I have today. I don't know if you guys recognize her, but she was with me on the pineapple show, and we had so much fun that I was like, she got to come back. You know why they should remember me? Because I introduced you to the donkey punch. Donkey punch. Hey, I had to go watch that shit and figure it out because I was like, what is that? We need to figure it out. No, it was funny because I remember I looked up through our text message thread today and you sent me like a random picture and I was like, what? But at the time, I didn't know <laughs> what it was and I looked at it today. I was like, oh, you screenshot it. Uh, so when I sent it to you, you were like, she crazy. Why is she sending me that type of shit? <laughs> yes. Well, uh, I'm not crazy. What is this? Okay, okay, well, guys, the screen is going to do life. what it does. <laughs> we're on, we're live, and uh, that's what it's going to be that's for today. Fine. That's fine. Yes. It's rice fields. That's pretty. That's All nice right, let's see. So, okay, so just so you know, guys, uh, this show is called Unclassified. Uh, I don't know if you get it. Do you get it? I do, but I'm like, ooh, what we talking about? Is it like, like unclassified, declassified? Like, we dropped you some shit, or is it like... <laughs> yes, you know? we're, we're talking about anything that nobody wants to talk about but that I'm sure people want to hear. Oh. And uh, with girls, with men, you know, with all type of shit because we, we want people to know. Okay, I mean, if y'all ready, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not sure, but I'm ready to spill some tea. I'm ready to really let y'all know what it is. Cause yes. You know how she talk. I, she will give you the real. I'm, I'm going to back it up. I'm going to be like, oh, she ain't lying. I ain't lying. <laughs> I, I do it for the tea. I told you. I do it for the tea, honey. You do what for the ah! Oh my God, she's starting already. So, uh, okay, we're going to start here. I had a whole intro, but the intro is out of the window. So I, I was talking to Courtney and she's telling me like, yeah, we can talk about anything. So tell me what, what, what you want to tell us. <clears throat> okay, so I remember this guy I was talking to one time. He was a soccer player uh, overseas. And okay, they have different fetishes or whatever. So he used to like send me money to... <laughs> To, to do what? Excuse us? Tell us? <laughs> <laughs> to fart in leggings. Hey, girl, I did it. The can I cuss? Yes, yes. The fuck? I did it. Yes, I did. I used to, like, poop in my leggings, and then it would be deposit. So 1500 to just fart in leggings. Yep. Not just even naked. Like this and go, oh. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you the visual. It, it does what you pay for me. It's the free free. Welcome. You're free. <laughs> So, so I guess, I guess, hey, 1500 just to fart. I mean, I, I don't fart, so just so you know. But, uh, <laughs> but 1500 every, every time she lie, I'm going to take a shot. Take a shot. But 1500 to fart, I might start farting. Like, that I'm, might be the day that I might be like, okay, I'll fart today. And this was before OnlyFans. This was before all that. And I'd rather do that than fuck somebody. Uh, or yeah. like show my body to somebody. Mm -hmm. Like I'd rather do that. So I was like, okay. And I started thinking like, damn, I wish I had prettier toes. I would do like, I pour honey on my toes. <laughs> and, you know, I would do whatever, girl. Yo. You ain't got a text man got to be with you, but I can. Courtney is with the shit. So wait, so how are we supposed to call you? Courtney or Granny? Which one? Okay, so social media wise, everybody knows me as Granny or Miss I Am. But... I'm kind of like changing gears and, you know, being more respectable, whatever. Mm -hmm. So people call me Courtney, like for YouTube. And I'm, I, I honestly, like when I first started social media, I didn't really ever display my name. Okay. Nobody ever knew my name. Gotcha. It was always Granny and Miss I Am. So then I was like, okay, well, I want to like be a new person. Like, let me just give some people like more information. So now they're like, oh, shit, your name is Courtney. So mm -hmm. you, you can call me Courtney. Now you it's call Courtney. Me Courtney or Granny. I like Granny. Granny is. I like Granny too because Granny, granny is shit. different. Yeah. Granny with the shit. <laughs> All right, so um, so yes, before we start, because we started right on, I have a book. I don't know if you guys uh, check it out yet, but I have a book, The Ultimate Love Cheat Code. So if you want to go and support your girl, it's at um, shopmellymonaco.com, easy one. And uh, so you can find it. I uh, talk about... Uh, how to to play the game pretty much like so if you want a, a good girlfriend it's in there if you want a bitch that's you know it's in there because you know they still be wanting bitches so if you want a bitch it's in there too and uh, if you want to have a happy relationship it's in there so hopefully you guys support me support your girl it's a book a ebook and a course so mm. if you don't want to read you can just listen and if you want to see me talk you get the course Ooh. so Oh, she just switched the game. I didn't even know they had that. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm over here trying to make a little baby ebook. Little okay. Yes. Tell me something. Maybe that shit. 
But you're right though, because they do be wanting bitches, and I don't understand sometimes. But then I feel like that draws from like their past and trauma mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Like you don't, you're not even a healed person enough to like accept a a healed woman. So like, I gotta be a bitch. I gotta talk to you. I gotta be a bitch. Yeah. I don't. I can't. I just I can't. Be. Yeah. I, I want to be soft and feminine. Like I want to be submissive. Like yes, daddy. Like I, I got my boyfriend, daddy, all the time. Oh, so she she said it. She got a boyfriend. I do. I worked hard for that, so I'm claiming Sorry, that. guys. She she got a boyfriend. She told us. I do. But that she don't does. mean that I'm not still with the shit, so I can tell y'all. She can still tell us. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I can still tell you. All right. So, um, so, okay, so this show, you know, you can come, you can participate, uh, everybody. So uh, if you want to participate, this is how we're participating today. If you want to ask us a question, you send us a $5 super chat. If you want us to spin the wheel with some sexier question, you send <laughs> 10 <laughs> And if you want us to take a shot, you already know it's a little more expensive. It's going to be $50. So Cheaper than a fart. Oh, cheaper than a fart. <laughs> but make it add up, baby. I mean, would you have done it for 100 the farting? Yes. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, see, he started high. Why am I going to cut him off? Like, why am I going to do that? Uh, oh, I, I hear you. Hey, you're offering 1500 I'm taking 1500 For sure. And he gave it to me up front. And it was just like, oh, basically, like, whenever he asked for it in the month, I would send it. And it literally was like three or four, like, videos. And they were really quick because I don't pass gas like crazy. But I was like, <laughs> I just had to time but, that shit. I was like, oh, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like roses. Don't worry about it because girls don't wow. pass gas, right? No, we don't. I we don't. I, 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 all right, so let me see what else I had to say before we start. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, I was off, all the way off. So, so that's it, that's all. All right, we're there. So I think since uh, it's your first time here that we should take a shot to start with, you know? Okay. And uh, so I'm going to introduce you to, wait one second, it's, it's coming. I'm going to okay. introduce, don't be scared, to oh. the red zone. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh, okay. So, yes, it so when, when you know, when somebody is sending some money, the, I mean the 50, that's what we're doing. So, uh, I got the bottle from, uh, from last week. We didn't finish it, luckily, but we were Wait. lit. Wait, you want the other one better? I want, I want the you want the titties. They, I got those now. You get them titties. They look like that. Oh, they, she pours real No, fast. that's the first one. That's the first one. The second one w- will be lighter for you. Yeah, because you know I'm a lightweight. Mm. It doesn't take me. I'm literally a cheap date. When cheap I wanna, date. I, when I went on a date, I was like, oh, no, I'm okay. Like, I literally had one drink. I didn't finish it. One drink? That's, Just give that's me a pretty shot. good. Don't give me a mix. So no mix for you. No mix for me. I'm a babysitter. I could take like two, maybe three shots, depending on how the, how good the dinner is. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Y'all. All cheers, right. Y'all. Cheers. You guys be drinking too. Yeah, I'm gonna drink between the titties though. Cause <laughs> <laughs> See, you already get, got me spilling. I'm spilling. That was some tequila. Because my friends like to be like, oh, you didn't drink at all. You it's got gone, you got to show. You got to prove it. Or uh, it's gone. You hear me? Oh, that's, that's not me. Okay. No, I was like, what is this noise? Mm. Somebody breaking in. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, I didn't start. See, I'm doing so much. I didn't start the, the live on... Because um, oh. you know you can go live on, um, on Instagram too. Everywhere. So we're live right now on Twitch, Instagram, uh, Facebook. You see? Hi, everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, so I'm not going to lie. I really, really appreciate you because you're putting me up on so many things because literally people are like gatekeepers and bad bitches don't gatekeep. And I'm going to tell you right now, Mm-mm-mm. this girl, she don't gatekeep. There's no need to gatekeep. There is enough room for everybody. Exactly. And, and also everybody who want to know the stuff, even if you tell them, it doesn't mean they're going to make it happen for themselves because they still got to do the work. So I can tell you as much as I know. You might not still do it. Yeah, no, not you, you, but people in general. No, yeah, I can tell you, like, literally, like, here's the the, 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 the map, here's everything, like, A, B, C, D, mm-hmm. the shit I'm looking for, and you can tell it to somebody, they'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah. Get that to a bitch like me? Oh, I'm going crazy. I'm about to have all the setups. This about, this camera about to be on a credit card. Yep. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah. my Amex. Yes. Uh, I'm going to throw it We're going to use it. Yeah. Wait, so, uh, guys, do you think it's kind of low? 
Uh, some people say it sounds kind of low. I don't think we're low because we be we be uh, yelling a little bit. Yeah, be careful. Turn her that. mic up. Oh, your mic is a little low. Turn Maybe my mic your up. Maybe is low. Mine. Maybe yours. Let me, you know. And I talk low too. So we're I'm doing. Whoop! Look at me breaking shit, forgetting I'm <laughs> mic'd up. All right, yours. What's your number again? You remember? Four. Four. All right. I four. will do my best, guys, to talk louder because I don't talk loud generally. Generally. All right, I, I put it up a little more, so it should be Can better. Can y'all hear me now? Let her know. I should. I'll talk like this. I'll talk like this. <laughs> All right, so I think it's fine. Oh, sound a little low, Melly. Okay, but I just did it. Just the mic is low. You guys, is it better? Can y'all hear us better now? Yes. Yeah, they say that's good. Okay. All right. All right, we're good. All right, so let's start the freaking show now. <laughs> After 15 minutes. <laughs> All right. So uh, on this show, we, we drink, we mm -hmm. have some games, mm -hmm. and uh, we talk about like little debate or what would you do in that situation? What will I do? You know, so I have, I have some questions. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start uh, with money. Okay. Because, uh, you know, women love money. We they do. want their, their dude to have money. So my yeah. scenario today is uh, a woman feels her partner. So your dude, uh, you feel like your dude uh, should take care of domestic duties since you pay all the bills. So you're the one making money uh -huh. and your dude is at home and you feel like he should help you with the domestic duties. Yes, I had the situation like that and I left him for that. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so he responds, no, cooking and cleaning makes me feel less than a man. What advice <laughs> would you give him? Well, since you've been in that situation, what would you, what did you do? Or whatever. Okay, so the relationship that I was in, he had a job, I had a job, COVID happened, he lost a job, and he felt like he made more money working, not working, and getting paid, you know, the, the state money or whatever, um, instead of going to work or trying to find a job. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I went, and during COVID, I started selling masks. I made a lot of money selling masks over covid right okay. so then i became the breadwinner i was driving from long beach to downtown la you know hustling and making money still with my store because i had a brick and mortar at the time so i turned into the breadwinner so okay. when i came home guess what he doing slumped playing on, video games no even worse slumped on the couch sleeping and mm -mm. then thinking that he gonna get his ass up and go to the bar what, what money? With your money? <laughs> what, what money? No, 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 well, no, no, no. Well, but wait. In his defense, maybe he was a little depressed, and then when you came home, he wanted to go to the to the bar because you haven't been home. And uh, <laughs> I know y'all see this, 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 saw, this shit we, is triggering right now. We saw, so, no. so when he's depressed, you get home because you're working so much. He wants to spend time with you and go out and to the bar. But if you think about it, Women be doing that shit to men all the time. Yes. Bitches don't want to work, and then the man um, is out working all day. But they settle they, for it. They settle? Men settle for women that do that. And I was not going to be a woman that settled for that. Well, because I would make clothes, I've designed clothes. Oh, he wants to wear them, but he wants to keep them. <laughs> so, no. I'm making, I'm making us money, right? So we need to sell that. Don't put your cologne on this shit. Like, wear it, take a picture, and take the fuck off. No, and so if I'm going to work, you can come with me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to downtown and it's deserted. So why don't you come with me? <laughs> why you have to sit on the couch all day and there's no food? There, there's nothing when I get home. There's mm -hmm. a dirty house and I'm low, C, I'm low key OCD now. Mm -hmm. So I just didn't respect the fact that it's like, as a domestic partner at this point, like you're not helping with anything. I'm still doing everything, so why are you here? So then it turned into, yeah, don't touch me. Ooh. We didn't have sex for months. We only get each other like together like nine months. And I said, don't touch me. I just, I, it was a turnoff for me. So did you feel like because he wasn't working and uh, participating to the house that he was less of a man? Like, was he less masculine to you or? I don't think he was less of a man. I just didn't respect the man that he was. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to say was because that that's not who he really is probably. I didn't respect the man that he was during that moment because don't talk to me about having kids and wanting to have a better life. And you can't even help me take care of what we're doing at the moment. Mm -hmm. We have two dogs, you, me, and then you're going to the bar. And I'm figuring, try, I'm, I'm finding out later that there's a bar tab that your homie got now <laughs> that I got to pay. 
And I'll Yo, even drink. He, he is wild. So he goes to the bar, don't pay. And they say, yeah, put it on Courtney's. We'll, we'll come back and pay. Yeah. Like, That's I, crazy. Yeah, like, so next time I would go with him or he'd be like, oh, babe, can I have $20? And we'll go to the bar. I'm like, okay, what can you buy at the bar for $20? And then his friends would have a tab. They're like, oh, like, I paid for all his beers. I'm like, okay. <laughs> all right. So then me, I'm a hustler. Like, I, I What's his race? Day. What's his race? You don't know his race? I don't remember. <laughs> um, he was, no, because he, was, he wasn't, like, he was black, but he was... Um, like Dominican or something, Spanish? Like that. Like a, like, a, like, a, like a mix. I can't remember. But yeah. That was only 2019. It's not that long ago, but I, I forget shit. 2019 like, is not that long. It was not long ago, but... Uh, man, I don't Yeah, remember, you were like... Mm -mm. He was a really great guy. I do not want to say anything bad. I just didn't care for the, the work ethic. Because, like I said, you if, if I'm down on my much. luck, if I'm not making any money and we have a kid, who's going to bring in the money? Agreed. Who's gonna do this? Like I need a, a, par a partnership because, but as a woman, I believe that a woman should take care of the household. Okay. I, if my man is gonna go out and make the money, I'm taking care of the house. So if my man needs anything, physical, emotional, mental, that's my job. Mm-hmm. And I still want to make my own money too. But as a woman, I feel like I need to take care of my man's needs because I want my man to be the best he could be to go perform at his at his at his peak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so when my man is down. I'm over here scrubbing him in the bathroom. You know, like washing him, making sure he's good, rubbing him down, making sure whatever he needs. That's what I'm doing to make sure my man can can do the best that he can do. Cause yeah, I'm gonna get outside, baby. Go go get your shit. So let's say you have a successful business. He has a successful business, and he wants you to stop your business because he wants you to take care of the kid and, and stuff. You're doing that? I would do it for a, a time period. It depends on, like, the, the age of the kid. Like, when, I, when my kids are younger, I feel like I would do that. Okay. Because I would want to be more invested in my, in my children at a young age. But don't stop me from working forever. That doesn't mm -hmm. make sense. For sure. I just got a puppy, and I'm over here making my dog's YouTube channels. Why? Because I'm at home. <laughs> <laughs> I dead ass. I'm, I'm editing right now. What, what's, what's the dog? What's the dog YouTube channel? Uh, Life with Bully underscore N, like like N underscore Bronco. Mm -hmm. Okay. Life with Bully and Bronco. Okay. Yeah, they're two, two cane corsos. They're not like blood brothers, but they're brothers. And so it shows the acclimation process, like the training process, mm -hmm. like them playing growing up. Because these dogs out here get paid too. <laughs> and they're not showing no titties. Apparently, uh, Courtney, I found... Another way <laughs> to make money and use them dogs <laughs> to work for free. That's what I'm saying. Because when, when I have a kid, I'm not going to make my kid an Instagram. I, I, I watch, I, I'm no. very aware of pedophile stuff. I do not mm. like it. And when you think That's about true. it, the psychology behind why a lot of these kids have viral pages is because people are sending stuff off mm. and they're looking and I'm, I'm not doing that. So my dogs for sure can have a page. Go crazy. Go crazy. Mm -hmm. Hey. I'm not doing it. All right. All right, so so let's see. Look. <laughs> she said, "Go crazy." Uh, <laughs> so um, so I guess you kind of answered my question. Um, wait, let me see what I would say about say? about um, I'm working from home. Uh, no, I'm working, and then you don't bring nothing. And I mean, I'm not saying you don't bring nothing, but you say cooking is feminine. I'm like, um, well, how about providing? I think providing is uh, a manly trait. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, well, if you don't feel like you're, you're not feminine when you're not providing, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. it's, ju it's just weird. You feel like cooking is feminine, but not providing, it's not feminine. Right. It should be feminine, too, to not provide, because that's what we know i think right as a man we see him as a provider and that's what i want i'm not saying i'm not gonna <laughs> work or bring you know my share to the table mm -hmm. but if you're not gonna work you gotta do something in the house you have to do something if and you, you can tell me that's feminine no like if you want to talk biblically if you want to talk just like historically all that stuff women usually like are the nurturers we take care we raise the women mm -hmm. women multiply you give me one thing as a child, I'm going to raise it, I'm going to birth it, I'm going to, you know, do everything. You give me food, I'm going to grow, I'm going to make something from it, right? Mm -hmm. So the man is always supposed to be the cultivator to bring it to me so I can multiply it. Yeah. So it's like, you can't sit there and not do anything and then expect something to, to blossom. Like, where do you think that food going to come from? Mm -hmm. So if I'm going out here making fart videos for 1500 <laughs> and you got lobster, <laughs> guess what, baby? That, that fart video got us a lobster, so you better stop talking. <laughs> Look, I hope you're not gonna. No. I hope you're not gonna go waste your money on a lobster from that fifteen hundred. That would be crazy. No, no, I definitely would invest in my business. But 
Um, back then it, w- it went to rent. But no, I. it's just, you know, you have to be smart nowadays. So I feel like a man should just want to provide. Mm-hmm. And if you don't feel like you're wanting to provide at the moment, then don't have a girlfriend. Agree. Don't have a wife. So, so wait, so kids. somebody said, uh, Hurricane JW <laughs> said, she's, uh, she said all the right things, but a part of me just don't believe her. What part don't you believe in? The, the, they liked everything you say, but they don't believe that that's what you, you believe in. Stereotypically, when mm-hmm. people look at, not just me, when people look at a certain type of woman or a man, of course they don't believe it. Because stereotypically, not everybody is like that. But mm-hmm. I'm not going to walk and talk as if I'm somebody else when I like who I am already. I'm 37 years old. I'm not scared to say it. I'm who I am. I'm me. So I'm not going to be a switch up and try to be somebody else for somebody. No, I'm not going to do that. So this That's is me. Good. I've lived it. I've walked it. I've talked it. I've had mental abuse. I've been in bad situations relationship wise. And I feel like I am a newly formed healing woman. And so I'm standing on business. Oh, I said what I said. This is this is how I am. I'd rather be single than have to deal with the relationship drama. I'm not going to do it. If mm-hmm. you're going to bring me some bullshit, you can go on over there. I'll be single. I'll masturbate. I'll get it off my own. <laughs> I've already been looking into how to have a kid on my own, so don't play with me. Uh, could he? <laughs> I have. You would do that. That's the one thing, like, I want kids, and if it doesn't happen, I'm not doing it on my own. I'm not, because I don't want to raise a kid on my own. I don't want to bring a kid to this world, and the kid only has me. I True. want a dad. I want the influence of like a man, mm-hmm. and um, I wouldn't do it, but you would do it. I've thought of that, and you know, by the grace of God, I do have my parents still. Mm-hmm. So my dad's like in really good shape, and you know, like he's out and moving and stuff. So I feel like I would have a grandfather male, and have my brother. So I've thought of stuff like that, like mm-hmm. the my best guy friends. I've thought of that, you know. So I literally was thinking, you know, if I don't have a healthy relationship, I'm not. If I'm not with somebody, I would rather have a child adoption or like from my best friend or something i don't know i don't, I don't know i wasn't even thinking nothing crazy that's not even talking about that that's not even she said about from that. my best friend okay i'm not even talking about that but Mm-mm-mm. i would do something Courtney. like that to have a kid because i feel like i have so much love inside me and i don't want to miss opportunity because of you know relationships that i didn't work through or like positives or negative True. things you know so i would i girl i thought about it i thought about it I'm okay. saying, i thought about it i'm 37 mm-hmm. i got this i said i won't be pregnant this year so we're gonna see you say you're gonna be pregnant this year I would like to be. All right, shit. But I mean, she got a months. boyfriend now, so it takes then, nine months. Yes, so you can today, t- tonight, when mm-hmm. you go home, you yeah, get pregnant. Uh, he's sick anyway. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm not drinking because I'm lying. I'm just drinking. Okay? Yes. <laughs> uh, so uh, Gilbert Arenas entered the building, talking about uh, you're drunk yet. No, not yet, sir. Send fifty dollars so we can take a shot, please and yeah. thank you. We're waiting. Uh, we're waiting. <laughs> <Like it. laughs> we're waiting. We're waiting. <laughs> um, all right. Let, let's see. Who is uh, somebody talking about? At least Melly is taking the loss. Well, what loss of not having a baby? I I, I can still have a baby. With you're I can baby. still have a baby. So it's not a loss yet. <laughs> I'm gonna have a fucking kid. They, they be talking so much shit oh, on yeah. here. It's crazy. <laughs> if you have thin skin. Social media is not, it's for, not you. for you. They be going crazy. I've heard, not even heard so many different things, but that goes back to stereotypical where people think that, oh, you post something so it's accurate. <laughs> no, it's just <laughs> fucking funny. And people will say that I look like a man. People are like, oh, like you're like, I'm like, okay, cool. Well, if you saw me in person, you would try to fuck me. So how about you, you know, shut the fuck you, up? Yeah. Exactly. So no. crazy. People always people have are, something to say. People are crazy, but that's fine because in real life, I'm happy as fuck. I just show y'all bits and pieces mm-hmm. of my life. Yeah. I don't even show y'all the good shit. Exactly. I'm just saying. Just saying. All right, so uh, since we were talking about uh, him uh, not doing shit at the house, <laughs> uh, so I would tell him, I, I don't think I can be with a dude like this. It's like, it's okay if you don't work, but you got to contribute to something in the household. And right. if you're not doing nothing because you think it's feminine, then y- you got to get the fuck out of here. So right. sometimes I'm a... I might ask you to do something that's feminine, so you're not going to do it because... You feel so that way? Yes, about your manhood. Either you're a man or you're not. Like, you're a man even when you're being feminine. Like, because yeah. it's part of you, too. So when you're telling me that you love me, you're holding me and caressing me... And that's feminine, things, that's so you're gay now. I don't... Oh, think. you're gay? <laughs> or is it that you want some pussy? Yeah, you probably want some pussy, so you don't have to do what you need to do to get it, right? So yeah, you're being exactly. feminine. No, I'm not hearing that. And then I feel like if anybody wants to like go through that in their relationship then that's mm-hmm. what you're settling for and yep. mind you no relationship is perfect i understand sure. that 
but it's all about what you want to settle for. And in the moments, I didn't want to settle for that. Because what if I fucked around and got pregnant with a with a person with that mentality? You I mean, locked you myself would into be some fucked. shit. Yeah. And this is why I said, go yeah. home. <laughs> so okay. you would date a guy with less money. You've done it already. Mm-hmm. Okay. Me too. I dated I would. a man in a wheelchair. I married a man in a wheelchair, matter of fact. <laughs> it didn't work. That's a whole separate conversation. <laughs> you say y'all want to talk about it, then don't say, oh, I can't see you, dude. I married a man in a wheelchair. Dick didn't work. Didn't have sex for 10 plus years. Lost my virginity at 26. If y'all really want to be for real. Oh my God, Granny just said everything. <laughs> that is too much. <laughs> next question. They, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is not next question. She said a man in a wheelchair. That's mm-hmm. one that we need to know more. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, his dick didn't work, so didn't I don't work. know how you say it with him. I didn't suck dick, and I didn't fuck for 10 plus years. Oh, my God. And then, um, no, I have this stuff about, I mean, it's, <laughs> people are going to. I feel like she's, like, flabbergasted. Like, what's, what's, uh, what's, uh, wait, uh, <laughs> it's too much. Overload. It's too much. But I'm like, okay, I want to know. So his dick didn't work because of the of his disability. Mm-hmm. He had a, a high spine injury, I think like a C area or okay. C, and it affected his lower region. So he just couldn't feel from like his middle section down. So you knew. Yeah, I when I met him, he was in a wheelchair. He had been in an accident like three or four years prior. Damn. So it wasn't like born or anything like mm-hmm. that. So so my question to you is, mm-hmm. you meet this man. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get canceled. Think of, think of King of the Hill, like the guy there. Think of that. Oh my God! And it, he looked just like that. Very light tone. He played uh, baseball. He was gonna be a professional baseball player. Got in an accident. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. So you meet this man. In the, <laughs> let's go. Oh, back. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. But let's go back. No, I mean for him. Can you imagine? Like yeah. you, you were fully functioning, doing sports, and then all of a sudden it's all done. Yeah. Like crazy. And he never had sex before. So oh, that's crazy. So you don't even know. Yeah. I mean, that might be better, though. I think it be- was for him. <laughs> because then you don't know what he's missing. Because when I, so I lost my virginity, I don't care. Like when I was 15, right? And mm-hmm. then it hurt. Yeah, whatever. I was trying to do it again. <laughs> then <laughs> I met him when I was 16. <laughs> and then I lost, I like had sex again when I was 27. So finding out that like sex is very important within a relationship. Girl, I mm. had a phase. <laughs> And I was dealing with so many things mentally and emotionally. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't know how to have a, a, a real relationship or how people really cared about me. Mm-hmm. So I was I sexually abused myself for years, but I got over it. But How do you sexually abuse yourself? I was just, like, I was with the same person, but just, like, they'd be like, oh, like, they would show me fake love to oh, fuck okay. me. You know, that oh. type of thing. So I, I call it, like, a sexual abuse because it's like I sought out emotion that way mm-hmm. because I couldn't, I didn't know how to get it, like, genuinely. Okay. Because you know yeah. I went from an abusive, controlling relationship to a man like, that, like, po- like constantly restricting me, thinking mm-hmm. that that was love and it wasn't. So when somebody didn't call me back, oh, I was spazzing on you. I was calling you twenty fucking times, coming up to your house like I was crazy Mm-mm. because I didn't know how to like do be careful positively. Like, be careful with Granny. She's gonna pull up to your house. Not no more. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I just be like, okay, good. Yeah, good. I I hardly even call people. Okay, but but my question <laughs> to you is. How did you see this man in a wheelchair and you were like, I'm going to talk to him? Uh, so it was crazy. I worked at a shoe store and <laughs> <laughs> you had to put the shoes on, the, on his feet. <laughs> and Is I was, it? No, no. Huh? He, he bought shoes for his mom like that day. He came in, the but he was like, he was very swaggy. And like, I think I was 16. He was 20. He was like at least three and a half years older. So whatever. Um, so that happened, and so he bought shoes for his mom, and then he sent me flowers like an hour later. It was like, oh, hey, wow. this is the guy in the wheelchair. Like, I want to say thank you. Like, you know, you're very pretty. Like, I'm, you know, paraphrasing. He's like, oh, if you want to meet a new friend, like, you know, give me a call. Mm. So I was like, oh, wow. So I had my manager call, and it was him. So I was like, oh, that's cute. So then we started talking after that. For a week later, I'm telling this man I love him. Wow. He's pulling up to my school, like, with, He's with shoes. He's that good. He's good. He was pulling up with shoes and round table pizza, like, on my lunch break at high school. So I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm the shit. I was like, I got me a boyfriend that, like, is, it graduated and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting, like, snacks and stuff because you don't get that at school. Like, girl, I was going out to Red Lobster thinking I was fucking fancy. It's a uh, luxury. I had a, one of my ex told me that Red Lobster was luxury. 
And I was Boy. like, I was like, um, oh, okay. Like. Mind, <laughs> mind you, this was like 2002, right? Mm-hmm. We didn't, my, we didn't really go out to restaurants like that. Like when I was younger, yeah. we didn't really go crazy like that. So going to a restaurant was like, oh, we're going out to eat. Oh shit, like you know. Yeah. So going out to a lobster, I feel fancy. Them biscuits was hitting. No, I just go there for, you know, to That the is bar. crazy. <laughs> just because. Luxury. <laughs> it was. But great man that just, you know, that yeah. abuse after a while. Is, is, yeah, it was crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. But uh, dick didn't work. So people always ask me that. Like, oh, so no, we never had sex. No, nothing. That is crazy. So once I got that shit again, then I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, I, I need, yeah, I I need that. that in my life. I, that, so. I can't be with you no more. <laughs> Sorry. We'll uh, share boy. I feel Ooh. like somebody dropped something. It's a red zone. Red zone. Uh, what is he talking about? Four shots. It's Gilbert Ooh. Arenas. Oh. Four shots. Let's get the party started. He sent 200. Oh, he's saying we're talking too much. That's what he's saying. Sir, I don't give a fuck what he says. <laughs> That's like that one time when I was on the live, on the thing with you on the pineapple, and he was like, all right, next nigga, because she, she, she over here being too nice <laughs> She's talking too much. <laughs> Yes. Oh my God. So uh, is it like it can't be four back to back? I got you know. Can I four can back to back, sir? What 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 you're doing? I don't fucking know. Like four shots, I go above the titties this time. <laughs> Seriously, four <laughs> shots is crazy. And this is real tequila. This is she's not this giving is not me no water. water. She's not giving me no water, y'all. This yeah. not no, like no water in a bottle. Oops. <laughs> it, it's titty level. Oops, titty level. It's like cleavage. No, but this is no, but four. We can do four. It's not gonna be four in a. We can do two in a row, but not four in a row. Like, yeah, like, oh. yeah. Or maybe he is four fifty 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 fifty. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, it's gonna be at some point. We'll have him. Okay. Cheers. Ooh. Yeah. So just just one. We'll we'll take another. We'll take three more uh, soon. Oh, she um, she really following the rules. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try, mm. but that's that's kind of wild, sir. Um, all right, so he want to get he want to he want to know more. He's like, okay, it's getting juicy. What happened? It's juicy. <laughs> uh, wait. All right, so okay, so I have another thing. So have you have you dated a guy with kids? Yes. All right, so so put it in your mind uh, the dude that you you were with. So um, the baby mama calls you. About back child support, <laughs> right? Um, what that got to do with me? Uh, uh, no. They expect you to pay what's owed because you're their spouse. So I guess you're married. You're married okay. to that man. Uh, would you? Why or why not? Okay. <clears throat> Only because we're married, mm -hmm. right? So I have a I have a mindset of when you're married, you take all those person's issues. Uh, like like the baggage that person has with you mm -hmm. and like I'm liable for your baggage at this point mm -hmm. So if I was in a relationship, I'd be like bro that you got to deal with that What what you gonna do, you know, but if we're in a relationship, but if we're married, I mean, I'm not gonna ever date a Debbie So yeah. we're, gonna, we're gonna take care of that shit because I feel like when kids get older It's like it's a, it's an affect thing It's like, you know, mm -hmm. because you did something when they were younger and then like when they're older it's going to be like a you know affect of what you did before for sure so i would want to make sure that like i take care of them as long as the baby mama wasn't in my face being disrespectful and knows her boundaries mm -hmm. we're good if it's about your kid and and supplementing that okay cool there should be no problem mm -hmm. but don't come over here thinking that we're going to pay for your hair and for your trip but you got me fucked up well you know most of the time that's what it is though like you know they're they're getting those uh child support checks and the check is not for the kid because what kid needs fucking at least like 1500 a month no kids need fucking 1500 a month mm -hmm. so the kid might need what 400 like seriously the Probably. kid don't be eating like that you got the clothes already you're not buying clothes every month the school is paid for Right. you know free public school whatever yeah so what you need 1500 and 1500 is on the low for a lot of people really? so See, i don't even know so this at that point i'm just like okay well the kid gonna come live with us we, we ain't doing that like that's what at that point i'd be like well yeah but you know them do. bitches they're not trying to let you have the kid of course because not. they want the extra money for themselves of course not well so baby, you can get emancipated i think at 12 13 now so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna wait a few years i don't know i'm just being being funny and not <laughs> kicking in <laughs> 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 Because I don't really know, like, you know, the, the legalities of, like, child support type of things like that. But I know it's a set amount, but uh, I know it's also on your earned income. Mm -hmm. So if I'm dating somebody, if I'm with somebody, we're going to have side income that's not going to be reported and or under the business name. Because literally, under your business, 
you shouldn't even you shouldn't even be rich on paper in your name. Your business mm-hmm. should be rich. So yeah. technically, my man don't make shit. But when my, when the kid come around, we mm-hmm. gonna take care of him for sure. Well, um, so like I'm, I'm thinking some other shit now. I'm like, wait. <laughs> me, I, I don't know. I just be like, bitch, why are you calling me? Why are you calling my phone? I didn't have sex with you. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? But what if y'all have that type of relationship where she's involved in the relationship? Like, like involved overly, like how? Overly intrusive on your relationship. No, bitch, you can't. Mm-hmm. Like, if she's overly intrusive, it's because the man and myself have allowed it. Allowed it. Mm-hmm. So, no, you're not coming around him and uh, around me or him mm-hmm. with your fucking drama. No. Yeah, I got set boundaries. Mm-hmm. And I think that's also where that comes in, too where the boundaries are set where, okay, the child support is X, Y amount. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I'm paying. Yeah. So if I'm with somebody and they're on back child support, even before I get married, we're clearing that shit up. Because this is the precedent Mm. that we're going to set. When we're together, this is is it. Mm -mm -mm. And I think that's just more like somebody, I think, not that I know because I, I'm not in that situation. I don't want to speak for anybody. <laughs> but I think sometimes people get lax because they don't feel like dealing with those issues. Mm-hmm. But you need to deal with them. For you sure. You get your shit straight. You need to figure it out because your child's going to get older at one point. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to get any easier. Yeah. So you give somebody an inch, they're going to take a mile. I agree. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know. The I was always the type that's like, I don't want to have... Uh, relationship with a man with kids because mm-hmm. it, it's too much. It's always going to be some shit like either the, the man wants the baby mom still or the baby mom wants oh, yeah. him that and it's going to be some drama. And now the bitch calling me about child support. No. Oh, wait, our guest is here. I think. No, I need to. Yes, need she's to. here. Hey, hey, come in. Hi, sweetie. Hi, come in. Wait, so Janissa made it. <laughs> it's my fault if she she's late. <laughs> so you can sit right there. Uh, Yes, guys, okay. we have Janissa. Well, I can tell you a story while you might get her up then. Yes, so go. girl, go. <laughs> I, I talked to this guy. Mind you, this is going through my, like, little, like, sexual abuse stage, right? I was mm-hmm. talking to you this guy, come. and he had a kid, right? Okay. I, I, that, I said that was fine. We were talking, so we weren't, like, dating. We basically was fucking. We wasn't dating. <laughs> we wasn't together like that, right? So I'm like, okay, why am I asleep at his house? Mm-hmm. Naked, naked you you bed. are sleeping at his house, okay? Yeah, we were dating, so I'm 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 home, like I'm here at his house in the morning, sleeping in his bed, and I open my eyes and there's a pregnant lady standing in the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> a pregnant lady. How he was still fucking obviously with his baby mama, and oh, she's that's crazy. nine months pregnant. Really? Yes. I, c- I can't. Why would you do that? We got on the topic of would you date somebody with a kid, and I was talking to a guy that had a kid. I talked to two guys that actually had kids. This was a, the later, the latter, but um, yeah. And then you said something about like them still fucking with their baby mama. Mm-hmm. So you are. example. N- that is some fucking crazy story. Why would she be at the house when you in the house? I'm standing in the doorway, <laughs> looking at me like like about to go berserk, and I'm like, okay, and I'm naked, so I'm like, I'm feeling vulnerable already. So I'm like, okay, we'll just just sit down. Like I I've never gotten a fight. I'm not gonna fight no bitch for nothing. Seriously. But like she was like, I said, okay, just come sit down, like relax or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. She's hyperventilating, tripping. I'm like, if you have a baby right now, but I'm not not. Really you having the baby right now? I'm not trying to deal with all this. So I had her sit down, calm down. I put my clothes on. I was like, hey, you know. We've been talking for a few months, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. Like, I'll, I'll leave your man alone. Like, I apologize. He didn't tell me nothing about you. I just knew you are the baby mama, blah, blah, blah. I didn't even know you were pregnant. So all that. And then <laughs> when I leave, girl, I'm walking out the door. I hear, <laughs> she fucked up the whole house. Guess how she got in the house? She broke the back window. And she said, so nine months Who pregnant. Uh, he probably had, like, went to work, something like he had, like, left <laughs> in the morning. I was, like, still in bed. Mm-hmm. That, that's some crazy mm-hmm. shit. So, guys, Courtney be having them stories. I don't know where she Not be meeting. Not too many. Not too many. So, so since uh, you missed that part, she just said she was with a man. She married a man that was in a wheelchair, mm-hmm. never had sex with him. Good, good. And his dick didn't work. She had a pump and everything. I tried that <laughs> She's like, mm. Oops. There's She's tea, like, I baby. don't know about that. <laughs> There's tea. There's a financial gain. Was that, was that, no, uh, it wasn't a financial gain. No, like, it was just very, like, he was very independent. I actually, like, loved him. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it, because he was very independent on his own, like, doing mm-hmm. shit, like, I felt very, like, being with him was very motivating. Exactly. Like, mm. seeing a person, like, in a vulnerable situation, still about their shit. That's nice. Like, like you know, and it, I'm a nurturer. So, mm-hmm. like, I'm a pleaser. I want to take care of my man. So, it was kind of like that. But then I also wasn't accustomed to having sex. I was, like, 16. 
so it didn't matter to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But later, girl, I need that shit to work, and I need that shit to hit. Now. I need that shit to work. <laughs> <laughs> and this ain't just a shot. This That's is granny. <laughs> okay. Wow. All right, so so guys, um, Granny Courtney is gonna hit us with some more stories at some point, but we got uh, Janissa. Um, Janissa is here. Yes, you know her? No. Oh, Janissa gotta take a shot. Yeah, yeah, she gotta catch up. Cause Cause since you're gonna take one of these four we, shots that we gotta take, we had uh, yeah, somebody sent four shots for us. <laughs> And um, wait, four? I, no, you can take one. First. <laughs> I know. She, I know. She got one. so scared. So like four is not for me, not right away. <laughs> because y'all about to have me just lit. You no, can take one here. Together. Here's the red zone for Janissa by herself. Woo! She's taking a shot. Hey. hey. <laughs> I'm gonna be the toxic friend right now. Yeah, get drunk. Get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah. Cheers. 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 Yeah. This has to liquor in it too. Yes. Yeah, so so be careful. It, so. Yep. Don't go too crazy. Mm-hmm. She took her shots. Welcome, girl. Welcome, Thank sweetie. <laughs> All right, so would you like to introduce <laughs> yourself? Okay. My name is Janessa. Um, I am like full on, full on. Would you like to introduce me? Yeah, let's go. Hey guys. It's for you. My name is Janessa. I am an actor, um, <laughs> and I also, you know, I do a lot of things. I do nails. Ooh. Forget my nails. I just had to take them off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all have a good one. <laughs> So I'm a nail tech, holler at me, I live in North Hollywood, um, and what else, oh, you will see me on season six of Grownish. Ooh, um, yeah. that's Talk exciting. About Talk about yeah. it. Yes. Uh, oh, I can't, they're still filming, NBA, but I, you know, I'm going to release certain things on my Instagram. Mm-hmm. My Instagram, you can follow me at Ness underscore Queen Cali. Um, yeah, I'm lit. Like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm doing my shit. She said, yeah, I'm lit. I got shit going on for myself. Yeah. Hell yeah. But I love that. Like, whether big or small, like, I love when, like, women, like, just talk your shit. Because I feel like I've dimmed my light in so many instances. Yeah. It's like, that's why I was like, oh, yeah, like, talk about it. Like, like be proud of that. Yeah. Like, like, so many people wish that we, they were in, like, a position that, like, you're comfortable with now. Yeah. Like, these are the moments we prayed about. Mm-hmm. And so, like, to actually live it and to, like, want more now, it's like, it's amazing. Yeah, like, I used to think that I was aiming high like but I was just comfortable you know I was like this is better than you guys so I'm cool but Mm -hmm. then it's like after I did a lot of like self-growth over the years um over the past two years uh breaking up with my ex um and just choosing myself like choosing yourself Mm -hmm. you start to realize who you are and what you're capable of so it's just like you know I actually took those two years um over my nail business and actually been doing a great job like i'm like actually mm-hmm. climbing the ladder now without you know i'm not stagnant and shit so mm-hmm. it's good that's yes, awesome good. <laughs> it's up sometimes you gotta release that old baggage to get to, to the new mm-hmm. shit right. so guys let's see uh this is right you see on the left corner that's your ig right uh left corner yes uh, Ness. Oh, Ness yes underscore queen caddy yeah. so get, so it's on the screen for everybody so guys this is our ig go check her out now i mean she deleted some pictures she only got six now and I'm like, why is it only six pictures? <laughs> that be pissing me off. People with no pictures. So on my, the- <laughs> my last Instagram got Let deleted. Let her reinvent herself, okay? <laughs> oh, that's the reinvention <laughs> part. My last okay. Instagram got deleted because my hating ass ex. But, you know, it's cool. Shit, don't let them give you no energy to, yeah. to make you better, baby. Right. Shit, I'm just like, okay, we going big flex now. Right. All the pictures, drop yeah. them. Okay. Wait, um... Wait, they're saying your mic is low. Wait, I'm sorry. Hey, we're doing everything in the house. We don't got producers yet. Okay, talk for me, uh, Janessa. Check, one, two. Check, one, two. Yeah, you're just slow. Uh, You know the number? What's the number on your mic? Nine. Nine. All right, cool. All right, cool. So uh, I see that nobody has sent some money to uh, spin the wheel. So Janessa, you're going to spin the wheel first. Okay. Yay. Okay, cool. Yes. I you think I think I was giving them juicy like, you know, tea so they were Yeah, they were like uh, into the story. <laughs> okay. All right. Spin that wheel. All right. Not too hard cuz yeah. It's this is, <laughs> this is not working for <laughs> shit at all. So let's see what the wheel got. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's going back. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> do five for oh, me. Five jumping yes. Okay. They want Six. you to do Six. five Six. jumping jacks <laughs> for us. Wait, come, come in. The, make way. Yeah. Seriously, which one? Exactly. Come here. Yeah. Right in front. You can go Give down. Them a show, baby. You can go right. down one. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. That's good. Okay. We're good. Yeah. All right. Five jumping jacks. <laughs> Let's. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. Yes. Yes. Four. Yeah. Oh, three, five. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. So that's. So guys, this is the perfect example. 
you see, you didn't pay for this spin of the wheel, but you get five jumping jacks <laughs> and a lot of uh, of body. So, <laughs> right. That's my like, good thing with me. Kid. People were like, "Let's go." That that might be you soon. You right. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that might be you. <laughs> so, all right. Let's see what what other stuff we got going on. Um, all right. Ooh, that's a juicy question. All right. <laughs> hey, I'm the one I'm writing the excited. questions, I'm and I'm like, excited. ooh, I got it. <laughs> I was like, oh, uh, you got to be uh, excited about your own shit. Right, you right. wrote that down and was like, ooh, this yeah, is really it's, a, it's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're dating a person, and they say they want to wait until marriage to have sex. No. What? Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Janessa said no. <laughs> For Janessa, it's a no. Mm -mm. No? Why? Um, Because I don't want to marry someone that I don't know what it's like in the bed. Because at the end of the day, showing your feelings and showing like your emotions and stuff comes out during sex. So it's like, if you can't do me right, how can I do you right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was, yeah, that was, yeah, that, that's yeah. your take on it? Okay, you what know is, me, you know, you know me, I be having extras, like, okay, like stipulations, like, what is, like, that means no oral? Uh, oh, oof. I don't know, because, oh, yo, you know, I be watching reality TV a lot, <laughs> and it was a couple, and uh, they're really religious. Mm. So they were not even sleeping in the bed together. They were not. So over was never happened for sure. Mm. It was just kisses. That's it. So let's say it's just kisses. He, he don't want no over. He don't want no fingers. No tongue? No, no kisses <laughs> with tongue. Kisses with tongue is okay. <laughs> so so it's, she, still no she's free? still a no. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's so like, don't ask me the question right. again. Like, no. It's still a fucking no. <laughs> I think I can only, I have to, I can't be a hypocrite, so I have to say, like, I can do it mm -hmm. but before marriage because I was with a man. Because you did it. Work, right? Yeah. But, but now that had, you came to your mm -hmm. senses and realized what dick was, <laughs> you're like, uh, no, I need that shit every day. I, well, I mean, my boyfriend, he'd be wanting every day. But it's more of like, a, I need to feel that connection if we're not having sex. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I need to still feel like you blew my mind, like you, you know what I'm saying? Like way. you hit me in an intimate like way. I still need to feel that. Yeah. Because I don't want to wait till marriage to like feel like an emotional connection with you physically, like mm -hmm. no matter how it is, like till later. You know, you might fuck around and like dick not good. So, so I Courtney, what you, what is it then? Is it is it yes or no? You would date the dude when he tells you you no sex before marriage, or you're like mm, I'm good on that. I don't want to be shallow and be like. Uh, That's not shallow. Uh, no, and I'm just saying like I don't want to be shallow and be like no, but it's a no for me. It's a no. Yeah. You know, be I be having to give like like ah, uh, but it's a no <coughs> for me because I feel like nowadays like I want to be able to express myself physically and I am a sexual person, so mm -hmm. it's like I want to be able to express myself with you. Okay, so I'm gonna be the only one who is gonna say I don't care. Hmm. Like I I could do it because um. I really want the emotional connection, and I don't believe that the sex is what's going to lead me to the emotional connection. And um, most of the time, like, to be honest, sex ain't good. <laughs> You're right. It's not good. So if it's not good, I'm like, I'm, I'm the type that if I'm with you and sex is not good, I'm going to still deal with you because I'm like, let's say you give me, let's say I want something out of 10. Let's say you give me 80. And that extra 20 to make you perfect would be the sex, and you're not giving me the sex. I'm still cool with being with somebody that's giving me an 8. Mm -hmm. So if I can't have the sex to make you a 10, I'll deal with it. Girl. And then hopefully you don't want to fuck too much. <laughs> 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 and then I'm cool, and then, you know, I don't got to stretch myself or nothing. Like, mm. But, I mean, I feel like if the person is open to learning how to be better or how to please you, that's also like a bonus. Yo, mm -hmm. Some people just don't know what they're doing. Some people think they're, they're be like. Good. What about like, oh. and, I'm like <laughs> and I'm like, yo, motherfucker, slow down. You're hurting me. Now you're hurting me. Like, no, no you're hurting me. <laughs> they be fucking hurting, not knowing, and they're like, it's good, huh? it's good. And I'm like, mm -hmm. no. You know what the leapfrog is? No. no. Oh my god, you, no, you and your term. No, because my ex used to always try to like leapfrog me. What is leapfrog? Me, but it's like where you have like your legs like all the way back, like you on your back, and then like your ass is like low key like in the air, and then they're like trying to like. Like, like, oh, like, I know like, exactly like, what you mean. <laughs> no, I, I I'm like, no, we're not doing this. No, I, I used to hate trying to. This is why another reason why I stopped fucking my ex because I was like, I'm not doing that. That shit hurts, it's uncomfortable, and you're like, uh, uh, uh. no, 
It's a wrap. So, so you don't, you, know what you don't, I mean, I don't even know. I saw what you did I mean, and I still don't know what you're saying. <laughs> no, do, do your part. Do your part. What is your part? I need part? to see your part. Oh my God. Let's see. Like, like your ass is like up here in the air and then like your legs is back here. It was just so. So like your ass is not on the bed. Like it's, it's like, it's uh, kind really of like. In the air. Oh geez. Yeah. I've, I've, and then one time. on top and comes down. What the fuck? Like, this is why we have the, the way, You know what somebody told me? They want me to be on my head. No. On my head and my legs up. And then he comes on top. And I'm this, like, this is, this is, this is that's what it like, is. This is low key like that. It's very I'm like, I'm going to pass out with the blood coming down. <laughs> the blood coming to my head. It's I'm going to fucking cute. pass out. It's not cute. And this shit, like, it's like, it. No. I just felt like it was like, you just aggressively trying. Like, I'm not a hoe bitch. Like, I'm your girlfriend. I'm yeah. doing that. Yeah. So I mean, but, I'm but I mean, you good. know, sometimes they want to be a little aggressive with their Every girlfriend, young. but not all the time. Like just like sometimes. You, some, you don't you, care. You ain't bought this shit. This ain't yours. Like, this is not yours. Ah. You, you ain't marry me. This is not yours. Don't fuck up my shit. Because you need to it. have it, it good for somebody it goes else, back. maybe. It goes back. It goes back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't think you don't it goes back. Because I always say, nigga not about to play play recess in my shit because you don't own this shit. Play recess. Don't fuck my shit up because my shit good. Don't fuck my shit up. What about like just like head can you go without head and they say i don't get i don't give head oh oh i know Mm-mm. like because what's that i'm sick what they talking about <laughs> <laughs> i mean me again i can't because most of them don't know what they're doing so the mm-hmm. head be trash and i'm like let's just fuck so you can come in five seconds and then we, we keep it moving Lucky. and i mean i'm not a big mm, i'm not gonna say i'm not a big oral person like i don't necessarily need to get it but if you fucking, I need to get off for sure. There mm-hmm. has to be like some type of like external touching, for sure. So I'm not super big on like oh like foreplay like that. I'm not super big. Hmm. Oh, so you're ready to just like go in right away? I'm a pleaser. I'm a director, so I'm gonna. Uh, I'm a director. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let you know. Yes. I'm gonna let you know. She's like, actually okay. a director. <laughs> Like, I'm going to let you know what's not working because you should be good, too. You should want to be good in sex. Like, sex, we're like, you know, we're, this is the time to be animals. You know, this is the time to be our, our mm-hmm. mammal self, you know? That so it's like, like grunting and yeah, it's like, baby, <laughs> take me, take me. Like, take me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. I somebody that growled in my ear before, like a bear. Oh. It was like a bear. Like, yeah. like <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> what you mean, like, I went crazy. I said, what the fuck? Girl, that was mm-hmm. a long time ago. Uh, all right, so <laughs> so I'm not gonna ask that question, but I'm still gonna say it. So, how important is sex in a relationship for y'all? Because it seems like it's very important since you say you won't talk to the dude um, if you don't want to have sex before marriage. I say emotional connection is way more important to me than sex, mm-hmm. but I still think that sex is important. I think it's like I'm not gonna say fifty fifty, but like definitely sixty forty. Because mm-hmm. I still, if I always say like if I can't live in a box with you and homeless and destitute no nothing, mm. then I don't want to be with you. And so that doesn't, that doesn't have anything to do with sex. It has, it has everything to do with, like, us together, our connection together. Yeah. So, like, I feel like uh, emotional, mental connection is definitely more important, mm-hmm. but sex is still important to me. Okay. I agree. That's how you feel, uh, yeah. Denisa? Yeah, I feel like, I mean, it's emotionally like i need to be able to connect with you um like that's and like personality wise like we have to you know vibe and stuff but um sex is something that you know again we can just like show each other how much we love each other or like you know just be nasty or whatever and i think that just spices up the relationship so i think that it's it's definitely a need Mm -hmm. um i think like you know maybe sex could be the 40 percent and then like the other 60 percent is like other things like my mental connection my physical connection my um my emotional connection with you and our growth together mm-hmm. so yeah i mean it's definitely okay. important though you, you gonna give me some dick yeah, yeah I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, talk through the process too because talk to me at the, right? at the same time during mm-hmm. sex we love you that you like it yes you know i do Keep uh, okay, okay. Yeah. well you guys you guys making my job easy so uh <laughs> yeah, tell me then what what are your favorites <laughs> Uh, things uh, for men to tell you in the bedroom. What what turns damn, you on baby. And like like that? Mm, damn baby. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney is gonna have a crazy one. Can I just have Already. a bottle? Just give me the bottle. You want the bottle right now? Just give me the bottle. Let me take this so, last one. So cause. so so tell me what what is the thing? What what does does he say that turns you crazy? You want another I'll one? I'll take it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. What is it? I literally. 
if he's watching, he's probably gonna kill me. But <laughs> I literally tell <laughs> I tell Let's my go. man to tell me that I'm a good girl. Oh. Ah! <laughs> You're a good girl. Yeah, tell me I'm a and good girl. And my daddy is. Oh. <laughs> you yeah, you I, I literally do. I'd be like, I'd be like, what? He was like, he's like, you're a good girl. I said, what? He's like, yeah, you're a good bitch. I said, <laughs> bitch, this get stop, stop, stop. Oh, yeah, stop. oh you yeah, like yeah. good bitch better. Because <laughs> I'm a good bitch. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm a good yes. bitch. Mm-hmm. Cheers you to that. that. I said, you de- and he said, you deserve this dick. I said, do I? I and he said, he said, yeah, you're a good bitch. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I'm a good bitch. I didn't Granny, know AKA that. good bitch. I'm a good bitch. <laughs> so no bad bitch for you. You're no, bitch. she wants nah, to be good. Like I'm a good bitch. Yeah, yeah. I did what I needed to do to get that dick. Yes, mm-hmm. I did. I'm a good bitch. You a great bitch. I love that for you. See, that is fucking that in my ear. Don't say that in my ear. I'm a good bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard that before. Tell me, daddy, I'm a good bitch. <laughs> you know yeah. something? Like, and they're just holding you, and you just like, you a good bitch. Oh, <laughs> yes, I am. So what's your favorite position? I didn't even know this. Oh, oh my God. God. Hey, is it, is oh, one of the questions? I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. fine. It, it is fine because nobody's <laughs> sending money to turn that wheel. So tell me what is, um, okay, who is starting with that, with that answer? So, so the one who asked is, is starting with this. Yes. Oh, my favorite position. Mm. You know, I really like morning sex. So like when it's like Ooh. when he just turns you to the side, you know, like that side <laughs> pump. <laughs> and then he's well, giving it to you like this. But is your left or your right though? Girl, you know the left, so I'm left-handed. So you know the left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a righty. You get me? You like this fat ass, huh? <laughs> I've been seeing so many like like memes on like I can't think of what it's called right now, but like like that morning like side hit because mm-hmm. like you ain't got to put too much effort in, but it's all there. Yes, you yeah. feel that shit. Mm-hmm. So, so what's yours, uh, Courtney? <clears throat> me, if we're asking me, mine, and not for him, like missionary. I know it's very boring. I still do all the extra shit. But I like missionary because that's the moment where I get to, like, kiss you, mm-hmm. hold you. Like, you know what I'm saying? I get to hear you. I get to feel you. You know what I'm saying? And then mm-hmm. get to go deep. Okay. So that's just more of, like, an intimate thing to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm coming on top, though, for sure. Coming on top. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so for me. I'm three in. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, I like on top because I feel like, you know, I can direct. I'm a director at, at some at some point but i also like back shot back shot my stomach on the bed and oh, my the pillow underneath yes Ooh, that's a good one. yes and then it's just like because i mean you don't gotta do much i mean i've been trying to oh, work yeah, like, oh, you you feel shit, me, huh? <laughs> i be getting tired i'm like i need to do some thighs i do my shit tired i'm like yo you're coming come soon yeah <laughs> like yeah girl and then i sometimes like if you have a mirror option mm-hmm if you have a mirror option, I like to oh. see like you know like me laying and then my ass like up. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, don't know, I love like mm. yeah, I love like female silhouettes. Now okay. I'm not gay. Like I don't not not in, that, there's anything wrong with that. But like I'm Powerful. not into women. But like I love the woman's silhouette. I think it's very sexy. Mm-hmm. So I like mine. Yeah. And so like when I see that and I see him and I just see that like, my ass is fat and it's just wavy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching myself. You're like, ooh, I'm I'm a good bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that bitch right now. <laughs> For sure. Mm. Okay, so you I have ask you a question. Yes, go ahead. Are you an external nutter or are you an internal nutter? What? External. So like from the clit or from the uh, vagina. vagina? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the dick the usually external? don't be doing it. Yeah, it's like not enough. It's, it's for tough. Me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I read a study that I think it's like about 80% of women are uh, coming from the clit. So yeah. you got to stimulate that shit because mm-hmm. it's not. And do it right. Don't, 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 gonna... rep, don't hurt my shit. Get off me. <laughs> I'm like, Nick. Yeah. I and think I to like. What are you doing? And I got nails. so I'd be having to be careful. Like, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, some people like they kind of don't know. But it's like, you know, sometimes men always think that like you just come off dick. And it's not always no, that. Yeah. And they think like, oh, you play with yourself is like. Ooh, that's for them. No, niggas, for me, I'm trying to join you. <laughs> so I'm not doing enough. So my, the, so this dude I'm talking to, right? He, um, ooh, he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> he watching, and he gonna know I'm talking, talking about him. Well, hello, sir. Um, and, oh yeah, and he Good thinks day. you're beautiful. So, oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he is like, I'm not into like what is it, dominatrix or anything, but like he is a, I like to submit to him. Like, so basically, like, he'll... He tie you up. 
Mm. No, 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 no. Like, not okay. a tie. Like, he, I mean, he might, oh, like, right. with his tie or whatever. So he always wearing suits Zoomy and baby. shit. So he'll come in the house and he'll, like, he tell me to go lay on suits. He, like, he has suits and shit. So, like, oh, you know, he, he really this, do this, it. this is, this, yeah, like, this, he comes home from work. Well, excuse me, we're not. We're not living together, but when he does. <laughs> but he comes home from work. When he does come <laughs> to mommy's house. To the good girl house. Yes. Um, good bitch. He would like go lay on the bed. And you know, he like, and it's on his time. You know, it's on his time. You know, sometimes he's like, you know, he, he'll direct me. And I love that being able to submit to someone because that turns me on. So it's easier to come like when he's fucking me. So like, mm -hmm. Usually it's uh, just, you know, when you give me head, but like most, in most situations, like people that I had sex with before, um, but him, I could, both, it's both. So mm -hmm. it's like, I think my turn on is being able to submit like fully, like to a man that has control. Like it's not, cause if you don't have control, if you, if Look you at can't, Courtney, Courtney biting your finger. She's I, getting I turned know. off. She's I like, know. my dude, you, you need to do, do that. that. Cause you're no. a good girl. You know, yeah, like, like, you're not, not to do that tonight. <laughs> She's taking notes. No, no because I, I I've like kind of researched a little bit, and because they say like you're like you're like a bossy woman, right? Like mm -hmm. you're like you have your own business. Yeah. They say that because you make so many decisions in the day, sometimes mm -hmm. it's nice to come home and like relinquish that and like give it to him. Exactly. So that's why For I also sure. said I like to be submissive. Because I don't want to make these decisions all day. I want you to tell me what I need to do, when I need to do it, and how you want me to do it. I don't want to make decisions. Mm -hmm. We fucking you, you come pull me and do your thing. So I think that's like a turn on for you yeah. because like you're making decisions. You're, we think about so many things during the day. And it's just nice for somebody else to think for us. Right. Nice. Like, cause you get to take that load off. You don't have to be so strong. Like, you mm -hmm. know, strong black woman, whatever, whatever. You get to be like, okay, my yeah. man got me. Yeah. And you this feel comfortable. Yeah. That's your, that's your like, like, what is it? Feminine moment. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. So yeah. Like you feel like you can Femininity. relinquish that power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is a turn on. So guys, it's okay. Don't be overly controlling or crazy because we're not having that. But not controlling. allow your woman to be submissive yeah. and give to you. But also know your place too. Like if you can't, if you're not like one of those men that can, that. you know, can do get it. things done. Uh, not even just just in the bed. Like it has to be like in the world All today. Around. I yeah. would never submit to anybody that's less than. So, sure. if you're less than, that's not a thing for you. <laughs> that, that, yeah. this, this message wasn't for you. No. Right. This for the next man, not and you. And if you are less than, you can always become a better man. Yes. But or find somebody to... lesser. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You, you said it. You, you yes. broke it down for dummies for me. Because I said, yes. let's go find somebody different. Because yes. Sometimes, sometimes men, people, want what they, like, what, like, can't have. like, yeah, what, what you can't have, right? Something that's on mm -hmm. a pedestal, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then when you get that, you want to dumb them down and break them down because, oh, I can't handle you that. Can't do that. But then don't go yeah. for a top-tier bitch. Don't go for somebody that's maybe out of your league. Mm -hmm. And that's not in a disrespectful way. I'm just saying, like, if you feel like, oh, I want this type of girl, then you get that type of girl, and you can't, like, maintain her, or you can't, like, allot her things that maybe she wants respectfully, then don't, like, maybe try to attain that person until you're ready. Yeah. This is why I say, like, stay single, so you can afford to have a girlfriend. Ladies, stay single so you can afford to be with a man. Yeah, because I, I like to spend on my man. You know, it's not like it's always going to be a 50-50 thing. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not like I'm not a gold digger or someone that's very, you know, shallow or anything. Like, I like uh, what I like, and I expect, you know, you to be at my level or higher um, because you're the man. I would like to submit to you. So, you know, mm -hmm. do that. But, um, yeah, just, you know, and if you're that less person, you can always become more, <laughs> you know? Like, you always become more. If you had the bad girl, A man or just a spouse that could just teach you something, yes. there's something about it. Like, bro, just teach me how to improve my credit. Teach me how to just be a better woman. Teach me how to do something I don't know, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. What? Yeah. I love I that. Right. Wait, so, somebody sent a $5 super chat talking about, has she done a Plum King Sims, uh, Sims her style? So I looked it up because I didn't, a, a plumpkin. What is a plumpkin? Is that a position? No, it, that's what I thought. But no, it's a fat person. <laughs> Wait, what is it? So they were asking, Yo. I don't know if they were talking about we'll you or Courtney, <laughs> but they were saying, one of y'all, 
like a fat person. A so four figure man with like a little belly, like there's a pocket right there when you riding them. So don't hate on the big niggas because they keep you warm <laughs> in the winter. And that, that riding position is like, I used to ride horses. I still do. But like Girl, you strap you that bitch pro. in. <laughs> you right here, baby. You right here. Because there ain't nowhere to go. There's a belly and there's thighs. You right here, baby. We can. Don't hate on the big <laughs> niggas because they, they know all the food spots. <laughs> <laughs> you know they got $20 on them to go get some chicken. You know they, they do. They got $20. So, baby. <laughs> The skinny niggas where where you need to not be at. Some skinny niggas got big dicks, so I'm really oh I'm my like God, I'm so oh my, the oh skinny tall ones. Like if you, <laughs> they have huge ones. It's huge. Yo, don't uh, be skinny <laughs> bow legged bitch. I'm I'm not <laughs> like, like, oh my God, I don't want to be. There's that a part. TikTok that was a lady who was like, whose horse is that? The shit. The oh my God. Uh, she said, whose horse is that? I'm not even gonna lie. I no. literally, a skinny bow legged man. That's your thing. Not super sweater. skinny, but I'm talking about like athletic basketball skinny mm -hmm. with bow legs. You're like, you know, it's there's something, there's something there that <laughs> needs to be discovered. Definitely not waiting to marriage, cause why need that in my life? <laughs> <laughs> I need that right now. <laughs> All no. right, let, let me ask you a question. So, talk. do you think Ooh. it's okay to fantasize about other people during sex with your partner? <laughs> I don't think that's okay. I'm gonna fuck up and say somebody's name. Oh yeah, that's. Mm -mm, I don't think that's okay. <laughs> because so that's not okay because you're gonna fuck up or. <laughs> no, so like what if what if you right like like my man's fucking me and I'm like oh I'm thinking of A B C ooh ooh and what if I fuck, fuck around and say his name? Okay, so and it's not like a act maybe like an action. I don't really you fantasize about anything like I don't. I don't no, so you're more in the moment thinking about your dude and what's going on. Yeah. My brain be everywhere. I'd be like, what am I going to do tomorrow? <laughs> Who am I fucking That's tomorrow? Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, in my head. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> wait, no, like in I, your head. I like, said, who are you going to be tomorrow? <laughs> I said, what am I going to do tomorrow? Not a who. Oh, my God. That's this. when you first start. Well, you're not feeling nothing yet. You're just like, okay, yeah, whatever. Go take it. Okay. I'm going to try. You know. That is hilarious. <laughs> so what, what about you? Do you think it's okay to fantasize about somebody else? I've never have. Um, I mean, I don't I don't know if that's a... I don't, yeah, I don't think that I could. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I mean, if that's your thing, like, if that's... Your thing. I mean, I don't know. Okay, so I got another I question. I don't want him to because I'm thinking like. You're thinking of oh him? Hell no. Him, oh, so me, you see you guys? Me or him? Like I, I'm not gonna do it. So you can't do it. I don't know if you do it or not because you're not gonna tell me. But yeah. like, then I'm just not gonna feel like I'm good enough. I'm feeling like you want to fuck that bitch, but you want my pussy, but you want fuck her. Mm -hmm. what? Yeah, no. So you no. want to fuck her? So you guys are funny. You're like, ah, I don't know if I can, but if he does it, it's a hell no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you want to you trying to fuck her? My nigga like came after me. My nigga wanted me, and I I, I eventually I came around. I was like, cause you know I was in a different place back then. But mm -hmm. like then I was like, okay, so I'm here now, right? We're together. Yes. He wanted me. What the fuck you thinking of another bitch for? Well, you know when they get you, then it, it switches. Like oh, you switch know. if you want to, cause I'll uh, switch if you go there. <laughs> so I'm like six different bitches, right? <laughs> So I have like six different names. I have Vanessa, I have Janae, and I have Angelique. Angelique is my middle name. <laughs> so Wait, it depends. So like you, you can today? listen. I'm Janessa. I'm just. I'm just. I'm me. I'm real me. You say you got six. six. Uh, yeah, like there's there's things, right? So like like I said, we like to sub do the submissive so thing you or whatever. The meme when so, they, they talk about you don't need another girlfriend because I'm everybody. Oh, yeah, all six of that's me. The the you got the nice, you got the nasty, you got all that, Ooh. and this is Janessa's all in one. So it's just like you know, what mm -hmm. bitch do you want today? Because if you <laughs> dreaming about a bitch, it's gonna be me in another name. So like, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I guess whatever. That's actually really funny. It I is. Can, I can picture that. Like, oh, she just like switches and turns into another person. I got wings. Get on the, get on the bed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh shit, it's aggressive. <laughs> it's, it's Vanessa right now. Like, it's Vanessa. Vanessa. <laughs> it's not the regular one. <laughs> All right, I, I got another question. <laughs> After having amazing sex, your partner asks if it's the best sex you've ever had. Don't ask me that. Wait, it is not. <laughs> Would you tell the truth well, or lie? Explain why. I just feel like that's a question that if we're, how old am I? I'm like, I'm pushing 30. Mm -hmm. You better not ask me no damn question like that. Like, is this the best sex you ever? Wow, okay. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so you're gonna, so you're gonna say yes, even if it's not. What you're um, saying? I, um, 
You're gonna say I guess. If you say yeah, I, guess, I guess, the motherfucker is gonna know you're not being for real. I'm not gonna go to like, sleep. No, I'm not about to play with this. I'm like, trying to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about to like. Uh, yes, if it's go, if it strokes your ego, yes. So you say yes. Yes. To stroke his ego. Yeah. What about you, Courtney? I know y'all saw my face this whole time. So um. You what? So I know y'all see my face. This yeah. Whole time. So you're not gonna lie. Don't ask me the dumbest question like that. <laughs> what if it's the one you love, like? I mean, of course, don't ask me no question like that. Like, if I No, love but you, let's like, say you like, love him and he's not the best because you don't know what he's doing. Or he's, no, let me take it back. He's decent. He's good. He's good. But he's not your best. And you love him and you feel like, okay, that's the dude I'm going to be with. You're not going to lie just to make him feel good? I mean, I'm going to, I'm, this is tequila. It got me real relaxed. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to make my man feel good regardless, but I'm also not, I, you're not going to lie to I him? I feel like, to kind of cut that sometimes, like, I'll tell my man, or I'll, like, give body move. <laughs> okay, this is really the tequila. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, like, sometimes, like, you know, you laying on the bed, whatever, you're like, oh, like, you know, you're done. He goes and wipes off, whatever. So then, you know, I'd, I'd be sitting there, like, I'd be like, oh, my gosh, like, oh. Being all dramatic, like, oh, my gosh, like, I'm so tired, right? <laughs> You ain't got to ask me no dumbass question. I'm showing you that shit was good. Don't ask oh, me no Oh, because you're tired and then we know it was good. I'd be good. like, damn, baby. Like, oh, my gosh. You just. No, so, but he wants to hear you say it was the but best. But my man likes me to see me hanging off the bed, too. That's not the man we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about the man that's going to ask you, what, am I your best? What are you saying? If I love, being honest, if I love my man, I'm going to definitely tell him. I'm be like, baby, like, that was a crazy ass question. You see the consensus? You see how wet I was? Ah. I'm hyping that shit up for sure. Cause okay. my man needs to know that he's the motherfucking man. So when he leave the, you know, when he leave the house, ain't no bitch gonna hype my man up like I'm gonna hype my man up. That's what I be thinking. Mm -hmm. Right, baby, it's your world. Mm -hmm. So for me, um, <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna. <laughs> uh, it's a hard question, right? It's hard. <laughs> it's never the best. <laughs> <laughs> I be like, um, who you be fucking with? I need to know these things. I don't know. Not the right people. <laughs> Uh, I'd be like, um, I don't, so I never had somebody ask me if I was, if they were my best, that's one. Mm -hmm. But if he does, I'm not going to lie because I want you to get better. Oh, like, okay. I want you to be like, no, okay, I wasn't your best. I want it to be motivation for you to be like, okay, I'm going to be your best. I don't want to hurt your feelings. So you could say no. Yeah, I'd be like, no. Eh. No, I oh. shouldn't say it like I don't that. think you would say like I that. I shouldn't you say would that. probably be nice. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. I should say... Yeah, close. <laughs> like, you probably be like, yeah, but like, I wish you had did this, something like that, because I know I've done that. Yeah. I've done that. Like, I'm like, oh, but you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like, I was about to know, and you did this. Like, it's, I don't do that next time. Like, uh -huh. I'll do that. But I'm not yeah. going to tell my man flat out, like, no. No, that sucked. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be like, like, no. I mean, that was wack as fuck. No. Because he's going to be like, well, damn, who'd you fuck before? That was Mandingo. Like, what? I'm not going to do that. It was good. That's it. Yeah. I'm give my man a complex, but... Uh, all right, let's see. Somebody send a $10. Uh, let's see what else is on the wheel. Courtney, it's for oh, you. Oh, no. Courtney, let's go. It's Ooh. yours. Oh. Spin that wheel. <laughs> Courtney, be having ads and everything. Ads, CDs, ads. Is it, is it showing? Everything. It, it, it is showing. Trust. <laughs> the booty, too. <laughs> I wore this on purpose. I knew what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Go get my tips at work in a minute. Hold up. Let's see. Oh, God. Shut Please don't say twerk. Oh, Oh my God! This, I take a shot like is a baby. it gonna stop? Like what? Please the fuck? stop! Don't do twerk. Do, do a 360. Oh, easy baby, hold on. Okay, easy baby. Okay. Mind you, I have a little little thing thing on right now, so this ain't no. Okay, yeah, you know. So wait, we're yes. gonna do a 360. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Hey. See? Yeah, we see. Wait, wait. Get get on. Yeah, bend over, up, girl. Good up. girl. All right. That's the Ow. 360. Oh, it's fat. Oh, it's fat from all it's angles. It's there. Yeah, it's fat yeah, from mm -hmm. all the angles. We see it. Wait, can you see? <laughs> can you see? We got to do a full circle, girl. Can you see? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> you see? They ain't see through. They don't look too, you know, no, so they not see through. it's not Wait. see through. It's Ooh, not. There. Ooh. Yeah, we see it. Okay. 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 Girl, you should have told me to wear something else. I feel left out. I'm about to go home and change. I'll be there. <laughs> 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 and the black. Oh, yeah, I, was, I mean, black I and gray. Work, so it's I was fine. like, I have to wear that black works. to work. So okay. I was like, oh. Uh, well, we got another one. Melly, say my name. Dre, I want to hear it in your accent. Well, Dre, Andre, Andre Graham, mm -hmm. Graham, hello. Oh, he voice memoing right now. Andre Graham. It's going to be What's in the ear. Up? Andre Graham. So $10 oh. is for the, the wheel. So let's see. Let's see what comes out of this wheel. It's going to be 
Oh my God! <laughs> I knew it. Hell no. <laughs> well, of course, you know, this is the funny thing because yesterday, I mean, it was on oh. the world yes, uh, the day before, but yesterday I'm like, what if I end up on the twerk? And what did I just say? I was like, please don't say twerk. I cannot twerk. Well, that's you what the. You can twerk or you're not going to twerk? I can't. I can't. Like physically, it's not well, doing know, it. You, you could do the bad bitch twerk. What is that? Show us. <laughs> I, I this got doesn't count. This doesn't I got count. corny to show us. You gotta count. do it at the same time. This don't count. What, this okay, count. show me the, the bad girl. The, what is it? Just, just grab it. Right? And just make it bounce. Oh, that's easy. That's I the bad bitch twerk. Okay. Bad bitch twerk, 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 twerk. Yes. Yeah, let's see. That's well, easy. thank Look. you. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. <laughs> that's all they want to see is the bounce. That, that was, that that was that's easy all given. Yes, it's bouncing. It's bouncing. Green record, it's, it's everything. <laughs> then you can like roll it, and then. Da, da, I mean, da, this da, is right. live. It's right. it's everywhere right now. It's live. Well, um, now y'all know how to bad bitch twerk. <laughs> that's all. All right. Let me ask my next question. Uh, so you would tell the the truth. No, you would lie. All of you would lie. That's what you said. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> you would oh, lie okay. about. Yes. You know, we would we would um we give uh, uh positive criticism. Positive. Okay. So could you be in a relationship with someone that you are not? Physically attracted to? No. <laughs> Janissa be having no no need to think. Yes. She be knowing right away. It's a no. I mean, like if I if it's like um, if I'm in it for uh, reasons other than love. Yes. Uh, Janissa, Maybe. what are what are other reasons? Meaning monetary <laughs> than love. Yes. If you got the cash. Janice, ah! <laughs> 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 I didn't know you were that type of girl. <laughs> so wait, but shot. it can't be. <laughs> it can't be like okay. So I can date. Let's go. <laughs> See, y'all just this is live. This is crazy. Oh, this, this is, is on a lot of different, like four or five. It's different on Facebook, YouTube, social media, things. Instagram. I mean, Twitch. like, I don't think, like, Jealous. looks are everything, right? I don't think looks are everything. But, but if money. physically, like, <laughs> you, if you don't attract me, then and if we go out on a date, it's like, okay, well, I'm here. What is there to offer? But then I may, like, then I may fall in love with you, like, through your personality or something like that. So it's not, eventually it'll get to love. Mm. But like off the money rip. Was like bait. Yeah, the money is bait because what am I doing with you if I don't find you attractive initially? You know what I'm saying? No, but it's only attractive physically. So you might find his personality uh, really attractive, like he's funny. Maybe oh yeah, he can dress properly, but physically you're not like, oh my god, he's like. Amazing. Oh yeah, looks are aren't the biggest thing for me. Like if I if per, your personality attracts, then I can then it won't. It'll just because I, it'll just be because I fuck with you and I do care about you and stuff like that but yeah okay courtney <laughs> with the face already <laughs> so i don't know what they call it but they call it something where you fall in love with a person's uh, personality mm -hmm. versus like their gender what you do I'm that not i'm not going into oh it. my I'm god not, i'm, I'm over it. here I'm so so it. you're one of them i'm not going no so she's yes. one of them so she would date a transvestite Oh, oh no 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 no! Oh. You have to have a natural penis and like like really like bitches. No like, no no! You say regardless of their gender, so that means I've you like catfish. everybody. I've been catfish. That means that means she likes everyone. Been, no, she no, likes no, no, everyone. I don't. I don't like bitches. I don't she like pussy everyone. because y'all got discharged. I'm not dealing with pussy. <laughs> with it. No, I know what that shit is. No. She said y'all got discharged. I'm not fucking with it. Cause niggas, no, like men will go home with bitches and fuck with them and then you don't know nothing. But they, no, I'm not doing that. No. <laughs> but you said stuff. gender. You said regardless I've, of the gender, I've, meaning I've been catfished. But, so like by a, by what? By a girl, a, dog? a girl oh, who I feel like she was a, man, was a man, but, but you really liked her. I fell in love with this person, and then you dated her. What's the voice like? Oh my god, I said I'm not gonna talk about it. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> what no, up? No, what up, good girl? So, this person was so crazy. They had a, a, a voice thing. Oh, hell no. They had the voice to make her sound like yes. she was a dude. Yes. It, it was literally insane. It, it, and, and the whole time we're talking, she was pregnant. Don't even fucking ask me. Don't what? fucking ask me. Don't fucking ask me. This was years ago. Don't fucking ask me. Don't ask me. It was monetarily like... Po the Why Courtney great. got all like, the, the, the crazy stories? I don't need to be in your brain. Y'all read it later. Fuck it. 
<laughs> so <laughs> to answer the question, to stay on topic, because then nobody dropped no money for the story. Drop a 20 for the story. I don't know. Right. <laughs> but yes. would I talk to somebody that I didn't find attractive? Yes, because I have done that before. Okay. Because there was this uh, Jamaican guy that I really liked. I didn't fuck with him at first, but like I loved his hustle. I loved how he treated me. I ended up like liking him. But mm-hmm. well, he wasn't the most attractive, no. But like his mindset was attracting to me. So yes, I have talked to people. I didn't date too many people. But I guess I have talked to somebody that wasn't necessarily attractive. Okay. Me too. And then I found them more attractive through like their personality, their personality. like you know, endearing things that they yeah. did. So Yeah, they say Courtney be oh, living yeah. it up. <laughs> no, man, no, 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 no. <laughs> God, they be living it up with all the fucking crazy stories. I told y'all, so I showed y'all a little bit of my life. So I want to know, so did you date the the girl, guy, acting like a guy? You the girl acting chance. like a guy. Did you date her? I had a story <coughs> after dinner. You said what? Yeah, she said she had a story. I said I had a story after dinner. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, it was okay, pregnant. Okay, okay. That's okay, 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 it. need help. Do not <laughs> buy no more shots. I swear, on my mama don't swear. No, let me get a shot. No more shots. This is stressing me out. You get, you <laughs> get a shot. You yeah. catch up, sis. <laughs> so, oh my god. So this person catfished me. Yes. Right. And it was a very organic thing. It happened through Snapchat. A friend was like, "Oh, sometime." And it was this guy who was very attractive. Actually, it was like like Hispanic Italian. And I don't, usually don't go for men that don't have black in them. Not like I have a preference, but it just that hasn't happened. Like my ex husband was black and Japanese. So that happened, and we started talking. And oddly, it never really came up like, "Oh, let's Facetime," because we talked for like a few weeks, months, or whatever. And then it was like, oh, I can't talk to you anymore. He you said he crazy. <laughs> I know. It was so, it, because I really wasn't with that person. Like, it was over the phone. So I was like, oh, yeah, you talk, you talk and fuck with niggas. Like, you know, and then you, like, you talk to me on the phone. Mm-hmm. So it was like that. You have multiple people to talk to. Like, everybody says good morning. It's like five different messages, whatever, at the time. I'm in a relationship now. That's it. But that happened back then. So <laughs> I started liking this person. This person was like, oh, I can't talk to you anymore. I got some mob shit happening. Don't fucking ask me. Don't ask me <laughs> okay <laughs> right so we can't talk anymore but the one i found out later because some shit had been tweaked with the phone and i could tell she was a girl wasn't a guy no more <laughs> on the phone the story came out because i said don't fucking play with me and told me the whole story that she didn't end up having a baby <laughs> and couldn't talk to me for a minute then couldn't stay away from me and then was talking and then we met up what the hell? And then? But when we and met up, I was like, was no. Yeah, no, it was a girl. After mm-hmm. I, th- I found out in December, and then I met up with her in February. So then I was like, okay, cool. I'm about to take this bitch for everything. Because she fucked me up, like, right? Mm-hmm. So she sent me money to get some Louboutins. I didn't buy that. I bought a fat-ass fat couch. <laughs> like, I bought other shit, right? And I was like, no, I'm about to get her back, whatever. So then I went to Vegas. I met her. And I bought, like, a the most expensive computer I could find. I, I was like, I'm getting everything, right? And then she had money. <laughs> she went for the government. Like it was crazy. Like it was crazy. And so I, she I got you? her. She wasn't like bad. Like she was like a like a basketball like bitch. Like you know, like like one of them like you know. Mm-hmm. So, Angel Reese. <laughs> I don't know who that person is, but like a, like a basketball bitch. Like she was like that. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. So we we're hanging out. You know what I'm saying? And then I was like, damn, like she's actually really kind of cool. This is weird, right? Didn't try nothing. We never like did anything. And I was like, this is like kind of crazy. I kissed her. I was like. You like it? I did not like it. It was weird because I liked her. I've never literally told anybody this. Courtney, you gay? Double. You gay? I'm not gay. No, no bye, bye. I was like this. Bye. bye. I was like this. Was you it, wanted right? more. She wanted more, and I wasn't gonna do it. You wanted more. Me? No, I didn't, because it was so weird. And then it got like really weird, and I was like, no, I'm not doing it anymore. But literally, like, I got, I got money out of her, and I'm done. I didn't stop drinking, but. <laughs> so I, you know, I had that, like a store and everything after that, but you know, I used the money well, but like it just went really bad. But so that's why I feel like I came. I said too much. <laughs> I said too much. <laughs> I said too much. You said a lot. Well, it's your turn to spin Mm-mm. the wheel. Spin the wheel. No, you have to answer the question. It's hot. Me? Mm-hmm. Uh, is it wait, what's the question? No, the air is not on. It's, it's usually it's hot. hot. It's, it's, hot. Out. it's Look, hot. I said too much. Wait, but what, no, gonna... what's the question? I forgot. The question was. Mm-hmm. See, you don't know. Oh, <laughs> oh, would we would we talk to somebody that we didn't find attractive? Oh, uh, yes, I would, and I have. Um, he was ugly. Oh, okay, uh, but what made him ugly? Like physical characteristics. He or? didn't look good. Like his face, his 
No, just slap. Not what was cute. it? Look, what it looked like? Like, no, I can't do that. <clears throat> Teeth? I can No, just the face, not cute. Oh. You look, you see him on the street, you're like, mm, mm, and you keep walking. You're not even really paying attention to him. Mm -hmm. But his personality was like A1. So how do you, you would see him? Like, how did, um, how did like, the conversation get with He you used like to come to my job. Oh, drop and tips. He, and you, yeah, dropping tips. Scammer. But the, no, not a scam. <laughs> he didn't have no fucking money, actually. I don't even oh! know how he tipped me. But, <laughs> and then he <laughs> just would come often and talk. And he was funny as fuck, like, with the craziest stories. And I would just be laughing all the time. And then eventually he asked me to go out with him. I was like, okay, we went out. And he was, like, the nicest. Nicest, funniest. And I was like, hmm, why not? The whole time. He was still fucking with his baby mom. Right. <laughs> and I was like, see, that's why you don't give the, the shot to somebody and that you wouldn't give the shot to in the first place because they're going to fuck you over. Yeah. And this is why I say the ugliest nigga will still be fuck you over. Be the craziest. And I'm like, you should, you should feel so happy to be with me and like I'm nice to you and not just looks because I'm better looking than yeah. you, but just like I'm a good person too. And I'm like, how are you going to treat me like that mm -hmm. the whole time? Okay, I, so I got a story. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, I got a story. Finally! <laughs> so this motherfucker is, when I tell you this motherfucker is the funniest, so uh, we're together for like maybe six months. So I don't know about the, I knew about the baby mom, but they're supposedly done. Mm -hmm. So, no, uh, the dick was regular. Girl, you tripping. Regular. Oh. Funny. <laughs> but you know, I, I mean, maybe you got it from me now. The dick is not that important to me. That's yeah. not my, my shit. Like, if the dick is regular and you're awesome, I'll take you, you know? So, um, I mean, it would be better if it's awesome too, but <laughs> anyway, <laughs> stop. <laughs> so, um, uh, so it's Valentine's Day. It's been six months we're dating. And this dude tells me that um, he's going to go on tour. With <laughs> <laughs> no, not on tour. I'll take it back. So he's a singer, right? So he's going to go uh, uh, East friends with Carl Thomas. But it's true. <laughs> he wasn't here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Never give me tequila again. I can't hold on. me face. laughing at me. So he's going on uh, for Valentine's Day. He's not going to be able to be with me <laughs> because I he's going to be bitch. with fucking Carl Thomas opening for him. I'm like, oh, awesome. Because no. at the time he was making music and I was like, yeah, oh, that's awesome. So I'm not tripping, you know, that he's not going to be with me. Wait, how, how, how in advance did he tell you that he wasn't going to be with you on Valentine's Day? Uh, I don't know, because I, I don't really care about Valentine's, so maybe like a week or two, like nothing crazy. So then I'm like, okay, call Thomas, awesome, go open for him. Um, so, but I have a feeling, you know, motherfucker lying. Did, motherfucker lying. Was, was there a real, like, <laughs> like show? There is a real show, Carl okay. Thomas, I think it was like Detroit or some, some of those cities where you don't really want to go, but... <laughs> I was like, eh, no it, you know, it's going to get a little, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. dangerous a little bit. So I was working and I'm telling because I felt something. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to go come see you perform. <laughs> so I look at tickets and stuff and I tell him, yo, I can come tomorrow. I can see you perform. And then we, we fly back because at the time I was living in Atlanta. So I was like, we fly back to Atlanta together. It's like, well, you know, I'm on Carl Thomas time. I don't really know, you know, I'm staying with his family, but um, I'm, I'm not sure. But I'll let, you, I'll let you know. So motherfuckers obviously never let me know. I can't go. I go on Facebook because he's a little older. So, you know, them older men be on Facebook. Facebook like I'm dumbasses. Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like old men that don't really know. They don't got they Instagram. Be on their, like, they just dumbasses. got fucking Facebook. Yeah, right, right. Their and, and, family and they don't know anything. Exactly. Right. Oh, not one of them. So he's on Facebook. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And um, I see that he's in Atlanta with his baby moms in the house that I go and stay almost every night. It's like, oh, my Valentine and posting stuff on Facebook. And I'm like, are you fucking stupid? So you're cheating and you're putting it on social media? Y'all were together. Together. But I guess he was, uh, we were not together. He was yeah. with the baby mom. Any so then, time a man tells you they cannot be with you on Valentine's, Valentine's Day, you're oh, you know. like fucking lying. No, but I'm like, you know, he's an R&B singer, so I'm thinking, yeah, it makes sense that he would go and have a concert for the ladies somewhere with Carl Thomas, you know. It for makes sure. sense. And Carl Thomas is really his friend. So then, I find out the stuff on, on, um, on Facebook, and then he comes back to me on, uh, like, maybe the 16 or something, 
and he comes to my job. He's like, hey, baby, I'm back home. Now. And I'm like, oh, how was uh, Detroit? Let's say it was Detroit. How was Detroit? And he was like, oh, my God, it was so good. They were singing my song. And I was like, wow, people know your song, you know, because he's, he's not big. So I'm like, people knew your song. Oh, my God, that's amazing. And then he was like, uh, yeah, and it, was, it was just a great show. I'm like, good. No, no more details, no more no, videos. No, no. So then I showed him. So I was like, so what's up with that? I thought you were in Detroit. So I show him the video of him and the baby mom on Facebook. And he's like, <gasps> so I stuck. Had nothing to say. And I was like, see, and that, this is why we are done. You can leave. Be, be. I did ask to do that too. And I'd be like, okay. Yeah, like it's crazy. And I was like, you fucking ugly. <laughs> I give you a fucking chance. And that's, why, that's how you repay me? Mm -hmm. Still fucking with your bitch. Mm -hmm. Crazy. The whole time he was with her. But I was like, how are you doing it? How? Because I can come to the house whenever. She's not there. Never. Mm -hmm. I was like, what's going on? I, I don't know. Maybe People have just double lives. Really. It's crazy. And I've never been an inferior woman like that. But men can really give you complexes because there's literally times where they could do that. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't even know. Yeah. Because you don't want to be that, that, that overbearing Exactly. Female so so you let them. Space. Yes. And that's, and that's go ahead. No, no I'm saying that's the moments where. That, so that's why I'm saying yeah, that, that, that shit. I can't like dim my like dim myself down and it just accept like off the bat that I'm not physically attracted because when you do give people a chance they they out of line and then I have to get crazy I don't want to have to get crazy I don't want to have to do that you know what I'm saying I want to live in my light and be cool mm -hmm. like I don't want to have to take a step back and then either lose myself or uh because you're fucking around and now like, you know how people be like they have their their things they have some things about themselves like they're either narcissists they're either you know, the gaslighting or whatever. And so, like, those those people that be lying, like, that type of shit. Like, and then you just, you literally was like, okay, I'm really not attracted to this person. But I'm going to give him a chance because I like his personality. Mm -hmm. So, you're just like, you're literally having to juggle things that you shouldn't have to juggle. I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm not going to do that. Like, if I like you as a person or whatever and I don't find you physically attractive, I would, I'm only going to give you, like, it's going to take so much for me to have to be like, okay, I want to, I want to do this. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, you know what to play me. All right. I have to say is the ugly niggas will fuck you over. And the, <laughs> the nigga with the most money gonna fuck you over. So literally. Pick your poison. But it's like, exactly. with, with the most money. No, that's what I'm saying. So if you fuck with somebody <laughs> with money, then you understand that more bitches come along with them. Mm -hmm. So just understand sure. that from day one, you're not the only bitch. You just the bitches here. You you the one that's posted, but they got other bitches that's secret that's yeah. getting paid off. Cause I fuck with big niggas too. I call them big niggas, <laughs> but like, like he's got bitches on payroll. Like you know what I'm saying, like he paying their bills off. He doing all this shit for them, but I'm the main bitch. So it's like you have to understand the ugly nigga will fuck you over and do dumb shit, but so will the big nigga. So who is the dude who would treat you right? Niggas ain't shit. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to pass anybody. I'm not saying that all men are dogs, all men are bad, whatever. I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I don't put it past nobody. So if you really want to be with me, you want to do all this shit that we're talking about, really grow and be together, show then me. show me that. Mm -hmm. Don't tell mm -hmm. don't tell me that. My man don't, sh don't my man don't tell me nothing. He, my man show me. Mm -hmm. And he tells me all the time. My man say I love you all the time. Da, da, da. I didn't grow up with like a loving mom. Like, you know, I didn't grow up with all that, but I show you every day that I love you. Mm -hmm. Okay, show me that then. I need that. I need that. I, I like that. Okay. Niggas ain't shit sometimes. But okay. <laughs> we, 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 I, I got more questions. So uh, let, let's uh, let's talk about friends. When when you're in a relationship, yeah. So you got friends. So okay. So okay. for example, your significant other has an opposite sex best friend who likes them romantically. So your you dudes have a best girlfriend, and we know the best girlfriend likes them. Mm -hmm. And look, and I'm talking to you, bitch. I said, go. <laughs> you Sorry, she I'm don't explaining. even wait for the end of the question. Because no. Wait. So <laughs> your partner's reasons that uh, it's okay to remain friends because the feelings aren't mutual and nothing inappropriate has happened. Do you agree? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys don't be thinking about the question. It's a no. It's nothing to think it's about. Because at the no. end of the day, if the bitch like you, mm -hmm. right, you know that. I know that. And, like, she can't come around me, period, because then I'm a presser. But it's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, because that's, that's... It me. is it is so funny because 
Janessa is talking all of this, and when I look at you, I feel like you're sweet. Like you're going to be like the nice girl. And But the shit she be saying is like, oh, don't fuck with her. And then people look at me like I'm the bitch. Like, yes, I'm just like, I do that with right? sure. their attachment. Exactly. Sure. And I'm the nice bitch. That's what I'm saying. People never think that I'm the nice bitch. I'm the nicest bitch. My best friend at the time, she was the mean bitch. It's crazy. So like, go ahead, Janissa. I'm, I am. I'm very, very nice. Like, I, I don't like, I don't like confrontation. I really don't. Like, I've been through a lot in life. And, you know, I've been around the block. Um, not with men, okay, but, um, <laughs> with, gonna, you know, you know <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not with men, but like just with life in general, you know, just growing up, it was just a bad thing. So I've been uh, like around different, um, like scenarios, different like environments. Um, and so I know what a lot, I know people, like people are weird. Um, and I like, I'm an introvert too. So, and the, but it like, getting tried like by another female because i'm so for people i'm so for people i'm so nice you know and i'm just just caring you know i i give i'll give my shirt off my back you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so when people try me or when people think that i'm dumb or gullible or something like that that's my that's my issue i hate that um i'm a very strong female uh when it comes to you know my likes my dislikes or whatever so and and i'm gonna voice them you know i'm not gonna I'm not going to embarrass myself by becoming physical. Um, mm -hmm. But if there is no other outcome, and bitch, if I love this man, <laughs> listen. <laughs> when he gets like this, when he gets like this, that's, I'm Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. It's going to go one way or the other. Which one you want? Mm -mm. <laughs> that's just that. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> All I have to say is if secretly my man didn't know that you liked him, mm -hmm. which is hypothetical, right? Because I have a best guy friend, but we don't like each other. We never have liked each other. We're literally like, that's these are my two best friends, right? Mm -hmm. If a female, and you didn't know that she liked you, and I figured out that she fucking liked you, she displaying emotions that she don't need to display, right? Mm -hmm. And that means that the girl could low-key be hating, be salty, be feeling some type of way that she should be in my position, it's going to have it out for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So her and I going to have to have a talk. A talk. <laughs> Look. <laughs> you going to talk to her? I'm going to talk to her. Mm. I'm a woman. I'm going to be like, yo, um, look here, honey. Um, I don't. Oh, you're condescending already. Like, Not honey. Right. Because that's honey. I'm probably going to be, uh, okay, be older than her. And she's like, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. But like, look, honey, I know because you've already disrespected me low key. Because I see that you show an emotion to my man that you shouldn't show. Mm -hmm. I know friends and I know I, I people watch. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm an introvert, too. I look at people. I watch. I go out to the club and I'm ah, but I'm looking at you. Mm -hmm. I see that bitch over there to act like she don't know that nigga over there, but they fucking tonight, and that's her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I see all that shit. But I'm like, no, um, look, honey, um, I understand that you probably have feelings for my boyfriend, and this is your best friend, but I need you to understand that I'm here now, so I need you to be respectful of my position, mm -hmm. and I'll respect your position. I'm going to tell her like that, but then if it gets some other some shit, it's Keela talking. <laughs> if it gets some other shit, baby, you don't know that your best friend like you? I'm going to need you to dead that. Now it's your responsibility to do that with her and figure it the fuck out. Because you I'm can not call dealing me. with that. Okay, so, so you're saying <laughs> if he knows or if you come and tell him yo, your best friend likes you. Put her in her spot. Like, let her know. Put if y'all want to be together. In, in her spot or you can't be no, you, friends you with her. You can be friends with her, but let her know dead that shit. But not, you think not, that will stop? No, she's still going to like him. No, I think she's still going to like him, but sh he needs to understand that he wants to be with me. Be mature enough to have a conversation with somebody and let them know, like, hey, I don't have those feelings for you. Mm -hmm. I want to be your friend. If you want to continue as friends, we can. But if you're going to disrespect my current girlfriend, you can be around. We can't be you friends. Out. Yeah. Because I feel like I don't want somebody telling me who I can and can't be friends with. Mm -hmm. I feel like my friends respect my relationships. Mm -hmm. And I would, res I, like, it's, it's biblical. It's like, you know, do unto others as you would want done to yourself. I'm not going to tell my man who he can and can't hang out with. Mm -hmm. But all my man's friends respect me, guys or girls. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. Understood. Okay. But bitch, don't, I'm gonna say, bitch, See? don't fucking try me. Don't be undermining. Don't be condescending. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm the type that's like, so I have a lot of guy friends. And I am aware that some might like me. Right. But um, I do believe that it's still my responsibility at the end of the day to, to decide who I'm going to fuck with and who I'm not. So it's like, I wouldn't like my man to come and tell me, 
yo, you can't talk to, to this person because they like you. I'm like, yeah, I know they like me, but as long as I'm not acting on it, it's mm -hmm. not an issue. But also, in, in, on the other side, I will understand that a man do not want to have his girl hanging out one-on-one -on -one or, mm -hmm. you know, late night with the best friend when they know that the best friend like their girl. Mm -hmm. So so I get that, but But I don't know. I've also been in situations where, like, my best guy friend is a handyman, right? So he'll come over and do things for me. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell my man, and my man will call me, and I'll talk to him in front of my guy friend. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll be respectful like that to let my man know, like, yo... So and so's coming over. Yo, so and so's here. Like, yeah. yo, we're doing this. Oh, just say hi. I'm saying I do all that stuff to give mm -hmm. like comfort because I want my best friend to know like it ain't that. And I also want my man to know it ain't that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I'm not doing no sneaky shit. I agree. So I've been in a like situation to where like I was dating this guy, but the guy was very um, insecure with himself and like he was always questioning everything. Like he would call me after work and be like, "Where you at?" You know, I'm a personal assistant. So it's just like, um, like I'm with a lot of people or I'm like, so I'm in the industry, right? Um, and there was this guy, uh, very, I guess, well-known. Um, and uh, he was like, well, come through so we can plan, you know, some type of videos or whatever. And I have videos with him, you know, on online. But um, it was around 12 o'clock. And, uh, and that's when he was streaming and stuff. He was like, I'm at the end and like, let's plan, you know, plan our thing. So uh, he got mad. I asked him, I was like, I'm about to go to this. Is it okay if I go to this guy's house? Mm -hmm. um, what time uh, is it? It was 12 a.m. Okay. But we were at his studio. He was in the music. <laughs> oh, I was going to say. It was in the music. 12 a.m. Yeah. I'm but like, you know, you're but you know how it. those go. Like, studio right. sessions are always stereotypically like that. Yeah. But yeah. Well, no, no. So my, the, my man, he was. And he is at the, he works, like, he's a producer. So that we were at his studio, and I was with him, and we drove his car. I was like, can I take your car and go to my uh, uh, friend house so we can plan our shit? Because you're going to be here for a while. Why would I just be sitting here, like, with you and a whole bunch of dudes? You know what I'm saying? Um, so he was like, no, nah, you can't go. No, nah, you can't go. And I'm just like, mm, whatever. So I didn't go. Um, but in it, like, he always brought him up after that. And it was just like, you, I, like, on, honestly, you're just hating at this point. Like me, I'm trying to get somewhere. Like I'm trying to do my thing. I'm trying to like not be under you. I don't, should not be at the studio with you. Um, so like, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't hate on my relationships that I have with people. Um, he was like, well, why are you not putting me on? It's a whole nother story. Niggas be hating. Right. I was going to say, I don't know the backstory, but I have, I have become aware of men know things that we don't know. Mm. So like my new my current boyfriend, he's told me things that I didn't know niggas was saying about me. Mm. So it could have been something that you don't maybe. Know him. Oh, okay. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. I don't know the story, but I'm sometimes I'm thinking like like men know things that we don't know. Mm -hmm. So when I just heard the story, I was like, maybe he knows something we don't know. Mm -hmm. He did say like that he liked me. Could still be insecurities for sure. Yeah, it, definitely. He's definitely insecure. Mm -hmm. But um, he did say he liked me and that he wants to fuck. Um, being <laughs> that he's a rich nigga, right? Uh, mm. so he did. Yeah, the chest start talking shit about us, talking about who's going to be hoes. <laughs> <laughs> First off, sometimes there's opp there's opportunistic females, yes, hoes, and then there's women that are actually trying to be about their shit and, and further their career and just happen to be attractive or semi-attractive to a man or got pussy. Like, sometimes it's not our fault. Right. But like, like a we woman <laughs> wanting to excel herself in an industry is not her being a hoe. It's just me getting out there. If I was an ugly bitch, you wouldn't even talk to me about shit. If I had no titties, you wouldn't say shit. Right. If I had no ass, you wouldn't be like, you wouldn't be trying to fuck me. Yeah. I just happen to have all that. But I'm a bitch with a brain, too, so don't call right. me a hoe. Right. Because you can't sick, tell me you. just because you want to fuck don't mean I want to fuck or I'm going to let you fuck. Exactly. That's like, that's not either here nor <laughs> there with me. I'm fucking every nigga I see. No. Sometimes I'm going to talk my shit. And if you don't want me, I'm going to go around the side door and I'm going to still get in that bitch. I'm going to be better than you. Don't, Nick, oh, this. <laughs> Same cap. Three <laughs> shot minimum, that's it. Don't put it in. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take my shot. Yeah, you haven't? No, I, not my third one. I hate when men play with me. I, I think Men, that's the, like, the use that part. whole word whole word a lot. Like, it's like, you know, you if it's like a controlling and insecurity type thing. Because you you know I'm going to be better than you. Right, you're you mad. You know I'm going to get in doors that you can't open. And, uh, let me, right. This is the whole backstory, so I'm not trying to explain it. Don't come for me. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes women can get indoors that you can't. So then you low key be mad, you be salty Hating. because you think a bitch is exactly. fucking to get in the room. No, you got the casting couch, nigga. Like you got the casting couch. Right. I don't have the casting couch. I'm gonna talk my shit. You're the I'm less gonna, than. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this nigga money that you can't even make him. Right. No, I'm gonna stop. They hate being less than. But <laughs> he. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'm gonna bring that up. I, they talking I, shit I'm right now. I'm a three shot minimum. Don't buy three more than three for me. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm sorry, that's my shotty. <laughs> look, I'm gonna I'm hurt some feelings, and I'm not trying to. Mm. Oh, let me see. I got um, you liked a provocative picture of an old platonic friend. You Ooh. guys, platonic friend. Okay. Yes, on social media. I do all the time. Upset your partner says if you love me, you would unfollow him. What do you do? I'm not gonna follow him. You're not gonna unfollow? No, because that's a friend I've never fucked. If I fucked him, I would unfollow him for you. Because <laughs> I know what that so, dick so do. So wait, that's so insecurity talking. I'm not. Yeah. I mean, I, if I, I know what that dick do, then I'm gonna unfollow him because I fucked him before. I get it. I'm gonna be respectful because I'm not gonna have you following a bitch and you fucked her before and she's like, oh, ah, uh, outside. And you know what that pussy like? No, I'm gonna unfollow it. I'm gonna just oh, cool. But if it's a friend, I'm not gonna follow him. No. No. I mean, I, it's like, I, I, I get what you're saying, but let's say you really think that dude, the, the boyfriend, is really the dude that you really want and that you're going to end up with. You're telling me you are willing to lose him or to make him upset over you just unfollowing or blocking somebody that, mm -hmm. that don't matter in your life right now. You're willing to lose your dude that you really want to be with no. Because he's telling you, go and follow, and you're like, I'm not doing that. No. So, currently, my boyfriend and I, we talk about things. So, if he feels some type of way about something, we have safe space conversations. <laughs> That's where we are able to honestly communicate how we feel, honestly communicate whatever. It's a safe space. There's mm -hmm. no judgment. It's no, like, anger, whatever. And we have those conversations. So, if a safe space conversation, my man is saying he doesn't want me to do this for this, cool. I hear you, I respect you, I will do it, right? But I'm not, I've, I've gotten accustomed to, I'm not doing something because of your inferiority complex. I'm not doing something because you feel like uh, inferior to this person, like low self-esteem or controlling. I'm, I don't give a fuck about that. That's just on, on you. Mm -hmm. But once we have a conversation about it, you tell me your side, I'm like, okay, respectfully, I respect you and I want to make sure mm -hmm. that my man is happy and understanding that like, okay, Hey, this is an issue for me. This is a trigger for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Let's talk about it. I need to have conversations. I need to know A, B, C, D. Yeah, but I feel mm -hmm. like even if it's him being insecure, at the end of the day, you are with this man. And he's like, I don't feel comfortable with this. Then if you're insecure, I'm not dealing with it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not unfollowing him, no. Yeah, like you can't allow that insecurity. That is crazy. You, that that. you guys are willing to, to lose the dude of your dreams. Because he got insecure about something. He's going to get it. I think well, people in general are going to get insecure in this, some situations. But this is why I say, is it somebody that I've slept with? Or is it somebody that I'm just actually friends with? I don't even think that it matters. So okay. like, to, so me, it's like, to me, it's like, if me as a girl, I come to my man and I'm like, you know, you, you like this girl, this girl's thing or whatever. And I don't like it. I'm not saying I'm doing it on everybody that he likes. Mm -hmm. But on this one, she triggers me. Can you not do that or can you not follow her? I feel like if he really fucks with me, that's something you should do for me. But what about the girls that he's not liking the pictures that he still sees? I understand, but that I don't see. So it's like how you that's call it? Saying. Ignorance is bliss? Yeah. It mm -hmm. is. Yeah. But the one that I see and it bothers me, I mean, I'm not that type. Like you can like, you can comment, you can do all that type of shit. But if I was that type and I see something I don't like and I really fuck with you and I think you fuck with me, I would expect you to go and, and follow the girl just because I ask you to. But, it's, but see, that's like, cause I'm saying. Because it, it doesn't matter. Who is she? Does she matter to your life? Really? No. That, no. And it so wouldn't. do it for me. But that's what I'm saying. This is where, this is where I would just want a conversation. I would want to understand why you feel this way. That's not saying that I'm not doing it. Because I would. You this said platonic if friends. So this you're not doing it. That's what you said. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. If it's an inferiority thing, like you feel inferior to this person then no. Well, I can't, like, he can't help himself to feel inferior to somebody, like, you know. It but if you allow that, if you allow a person's insecurity to grow, then that's when it's like the relationship becomes a one-sided relationship. Mm -hmm. Is That's when it becomes uh, controlling. That's when it, like, so you can't allow that. You can't allow, oh, you like this picture, so let me go ahead and insert myself and tell you to unfollow this person because at the end of the day, I'm not going to be following anybody. Um, that's not <laughs> like, I on. mean, I'm not talking no. about like the dude that's overbearing and that's going to tell you, you can like him, you can like him. It's like one person, he comes to you and he feels like, mm, 
this one I'm, I'm not liking it. Okay, and so you don't follow. So in my mind, it's not like everybody that you're following or liking is gonna say something. Is that one? Is this this friend like a communicative friend? Like if this this friend that I talk to is this someone I know? Like this is someone that is someone a good is friend. Someone like random. Someone you might know, but it's not like really your friend. So oh, I'm okay, following yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, like, so I have this okay. person in my mind, right? <laughs> this person, he's a fitness person, right? I know him. He's modeled for me before for my brand, things like that, right? Mm -hmm. So, and he's, like, expressed that he liked me, and we talked for a second, but it was, like, literally, like, two talking sessions on the phone, whatever. I never, like, really exchanged emotions with him. But he's a friend. I So, I like his pictures, and sometimes I don't like certain pictures because he's half naked. Like, mm. you know, he's fitness. Like, you know, he does underwear, towel, and kind of stuff, whatever. I don't like them because... I don't want my man to see that I've liked that, yeah, right? Yeah. But I still follow my friend because he's my friend. Mm -hmm. So, like, something like that, I'd be like, no, that's my friend. I'm not, I don't want to unfollow him because I don't have any emotional exchange with him. But if it's somebody that I fucked before and mm -hmm. I'm actually liking his pictures, I could feel my, I could see my man being like, yeah. yo, like, yeah, you're liking his you're pictures. Liking you that. fucked him before. This is a tunnel picture. Why you fucking care? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could see that. Well, well, the chat is against y'all. <laughs> Talking about black women wonder why no one choosing them. Wait, whoa, no, whoa, anybody. whoa, hold on, wait, 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 wait. That's hold not on. Really black women. No, black women. Who said that? Who said that? Yeah. His name is Robert. Oh, well, Robert. Robert. Is Robert. This, who is Robert? What does he look like? Robert, you probably like naked bitches online. You probably like like <laughs> bitches. You probably follow bitches that twerk. And you definitely and also like Robert. What do you look like? Let me see. It don't even have to be what he looks like. Men <laughs> sometimes that feel some type of way like oh. that are usually hypocritical. So they usually like, oh, you showing your ass, but you're following bitches that twerk. <laughs> he said, why black women wonder why no one choosing them. Picture. Sad. I'm black women them. wonder why no one choosing them. So are you against your own race? Like, I just don't understand that one. Um, <laughs> like, and then, so that's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of black men, that's what pisses me off. A lot of black men would like to say, uh, oh, something against black women as if we're not your fucking mom or your sister, bitch. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. You know, I'm sorry. Like, that's, this is something that I don't really, I don't like. And it, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't black women wonder why nobody choose them. Bitch, you want to choose me, hell, but you can't. You less than. Do you remember what we was talking about earlier, huh? That's, that's what I'm talking about. So... So sad, bitch. You're sad. Look at you. Oh, oh I don't. I don't okay, bitch, okay I'm sorry. Bye, Robert. Look. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, like that's what I'm saying. Robert. Okay, uh, so what I, this is trying to say in a calm version. Fuck you. That's what I'm trying to say. This <laughs> is trying to say is it's unfair to put a stereotype on it and just air, like a, a a specific nationality, or gender, or race, or gender, yeah. or whatever. So race, yeah. <laughs> your it's own unfair. race, your it's own race. Do white people? It's your own race, okay. White people, you don't ever. Look. White white men don't say that <laughs> about white women. Let me give this. I agree. Treatment. I they agree. They don't say that. that. They don't. So why would they you say, say that? They say Janessa, don't hold back. Because <laughs> 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 because it's hey, not necessarily a black woman thing. It's it's a. Uh, it's, it's about like, respect. It, respect us. Like, you respect our point of view. I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> respect our point of view. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've been through a lot. Like, we've been through slavery. We've been through all this. So, all of this, this, maybe, this, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. As, and I, I'm not angry. I have a great life. So, they um, say you're triggered. Wait, no. I'm black very men, triggered. I <laughs> hate that so much. I'm so sorry, guys. But, I hate but that. But black men have it hard, but black women have it hard as well because we deal with different things. As, as black women and as black people in general, right? Like black men have it like very hard, mm -hmm. but black women also have it very like difficult as well because we different, we, we, we deal with like um, sexual issues. Mm -hmm. We deal with um, inferiority things, like racial, like, you know, like other nationalities want to be like us. Um, pay, just gender, like we deal with things as women. Like we have a title for us of Mad Black Women when really we're just trying to express ourselves when it's just mm -hmm. like, you know, you can be kind to us and we'll be kind to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? We we shouldn't have to, like that triggered me. Like that should have never been said. That should have never been a thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like as a black man, like imagine me being white and then a white person saying that. Like, you can't imagine that because they don't say that. Um, uh, um, you know, if you have a, if you have have, if you want to teach me something, if you want to, like, um, if you teach to me or whatever, um, teach to me. But don't be okay, condescending. Yeah. Don't be, because you're not, you're not above me. You're not above me. And I, like, I want to know your circumstances in life because for you to even just say that, I'm pretty sure you're either with a dumbass white bitch <gasps> or, I'm sorry. So you know what? You know what? Whatever. Can I have a shot? Cause this is ah, Jenny said Jenny said another shot mm -hmm. after she said okay. this. 
So I'm sorry. gonna say it in a nicer way, the more politically correct way. Um, 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 I'm so sorry. Look. These people got like fucked up. <laughs> Basically, what we're saying is that black women are not single because we have anger issues. Um, some black women just don't want to settle for bullshit. Some some people some and people that's okay. Don't want to settle for less because they know better. So. <laughs> If you don't know better, you don't do better. So therefore, we're not we're not settling for that answer. Yeah, Robert. Robert. So fuck you, Robert. <laughs> like we're not settling for that answer, okay? I'm not. So it's okay. Yo, it's, I, it's, 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 a, it's a safe space. You can talk about whatever. We're we're here to talk about whatever. Go ahead. Yo, I but, I thought I was the opinionated one, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm an Aries. I'm, I'm the quiet one here. <laughs> Rottweiler, I'm gonna be quiet until I need to talk. I'm gonna be the Rottweiler, but you're the big bitch. I'm, I'm, I'm an Aries. Like I'm gonna say what needs to be said, cause he got like fucked up. I don't know what the fuck type of shit that was. Damn Robert. Yeah. Cheers. Robert. Robert. Uh, I don't know Robert. We should go on his Facebook page and see who he was. <laughs> on his Facebook. We need to see who he was. Robert Party has a oh Facebook. Um, no, you know what it's reminding me of? Hmm. Like when people be like, oh, this is a bad bitch. I fuck with a bad bitch, but your baby mama look like that. <laughs> It, uh, next question. I am. Uh, that man is on Pornhub every day. He don't yeah. have nothing going this is on. What I'm saying the men that like blast me online are the ones when I go to their profiles and I look who they're following. They're following stripper bitches. Yeah. They're following girls with low self esteem, daddy issues, like negative things. But you're worried about what I'm doing, mm. and you think that's gonna defeat me? No, I'm gonna have bold letters because I talk in bold when I respond to people on my social media. Bold letters like, "Oh, that's cute," and I respond to you appropriately, but. I'm sticking it to you because mm -hmm. I'm not dealing with that. You're not going to come on my page being disrespectful to me at all because you have issues. So, hit, deal with yourself first, Robert, and then... Yeah, <laughs> as a black man, I would like to call you my brother, but you just look like an Uncle Tom. What does that do that's on Boondocks? Um, uh, the white man, like, like white man. What do you say? Right. Oh, my God. You guys, yeah. I am dying. That's him. I'm done. Okay. Okay. Right, for me we chose. For? We know. chose every day. Black women are chose every day. And then the, the thing is, not just by men, women they 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 imitate mm -hmm. us. Yes. So we are chose. Her, her track line, <laughs> yeah. sold it out. We're chose. Sure. We're chosen. Yeah. Y'all just hate that. All right. Well, uh, guys, <laughs> uh, no chill. No chill. Talking about some dumb shit too. Uh, side chick, come get in line over here. February uh, 13th will be your Valentine's Day. So I guess that's when I was saying the story about oh. the Valentine's. Oh, side chick. Yeah, I yeah. Guess. Because if your man goes ghost after six o'clock at night, then you're not the one. You're not the one. You are not yeah. the one. You know, I know you're not the one because I usually work on Valentine's Day and I see the real bitches. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's that's the real one because they got rings on, they have dresses, they're cute and pretty, and they're happy. Yeah, those are the ones that are taking care of. But you're at home. You're gonna talk, get a good morning text like, "Oh, uh, my grandma upset, was hot." She, she was in the hospital. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, we got uh, Andre. Andre is back around the blog. Gonna call you Jenny from the blog. You still fine though. So Jenny said, yeah, uh, <laughs> "This is for you. This is the the wheel for you." Oh, he said, "Going to get you a shot, oh, baby." Oh shit, I'm sorry. No, no, no. He said, hey, "Going to." Run oh. the run that, uh, that, that spin that wheel. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This go is on, big, y'all. I'm sorry. Go on, spin that wheel. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> we don't we don't like, gotta go hard because. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I have a shot poured. That's great. I think you should do it again. <laughs> Janissa, uh, run it again. I okay. Think you should do it again. Spin it again. Because you got the shot already that you're gonna take. Oh, they want me to take a shot. They want, they want me to take a shot. You gotta take that shot for they sure. You talk crazy, right? Oh, a question. All right, your partner. Let me put it right for you. Your partner wants to have uh, anal sex tonight. What's the first thought that comes to mind? Wow, that's Ouch. wow. Ouch. Wow. Ouch. Um, Ouch. Ouch. Go the take your shot, sis, because you're gonna need it. Yeah. So <laughs> take, take your shot first. You're gonna need it. What comes to mind? What I comes think to mind? Gay. Um, I think that's gay. But ah! <laughs> 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 I'm Lisa a, say it's gay. In no shade, you know, people like what they like. Um, but my I. I'm a virgin. It's gonna take some thought. You are a booty virgin. Yeah. Okay. So like like the thumb has been in there and that hurt. So I just feel like, you know, I mess with skinny tall niggas. So that's 
that's not going to work. Mm. And the anal. <laughs> 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 and wait, wait, wait. We can do short. I can do short, too, because my baby is short. My baby is my baby, sorry, nine. Well, whatever. No. No? That, so, so, but what's the first, th the first thought that comes to mind? No. No, you can fuck my throat. Or oh, I am so you sorry. You can fuck my bro. I'm done. <laughs> so mm. in your mind, a man that wants to do anal with you is gay. That is that is what you're thinking. That's gay. Period. Well, I don't think that he's gay, but I just feel like that is gay. Like, why do you want to? Like, why? Like that one? <laughs> no. Like that's. I couldn't try not to laugh. Sorry. <laughs> no, I just feel like that's. Take your shot. That's gay. <laughs> So she said that's gay. Uh, Courtney, what, what you think about that? That's gay too? <laughs> you getting your ass fucked? <laughs> Courtney you said that's ass gay ass too. Huh? You get your ass fucked? Or maybe yeah, Courtney I likes it. I don't she know. She's a good girl. No, she gets her ass fucked. She's a like good it. girl. <laughs> She's a good girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. A good bitch. <laughs> Courtney is a good bitch. I am a good bitch. Good bitch. So, so what happens to you? What, 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 you, no, not, not what you. Oh you, you bending over for that. Courtney, Courtney got to go to work too. Uh, but, uh, what <laughs> is, um, what you say when he tells you, you know, tonight, baby, oh. your man right now, baby, tonight, I want to try anal. What do you think? Is this my man right now? Yeah, your man right now. This your man right now. The good, you know. The, the good bitch calling one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the good bitch in caller. My, <laughs> in my mind. Yes. My rationale, yes. Mind you, this is my man of two years. Mind you, in my mind, my rationale is, what you won't do another bitch will. So I'm like, okay, like. Ooh. So you're uh, willing. So, I, I so that means you're willing to size. do anything. I hear size. No, no, so I get you. I would try. You would try. I'm gonna, that's all I'm gonna say. Don't ask me nothing. It's else. good to try. You know. <laughs> ask me nothing else. What Talking you? about don't ask me nothing <laughs> else. <laughs> There's a, one more question, because Courtney got to go soon. Um, got to go to work, y'all. Yeah, she got to go to work. I hope she makes it. All right, let's, let's end on a, on a good note, on, on a fun note, fun note. All right, so you're at a bar when someone picks a fight with your partner. This person is the sex, se, same sex as you, so another the bitch. Girl. Yes. Oh, I'm fighting her. Uh, but you are no you match. Don't fight. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm, if let, let's let's my hear. Let, let, let's let's hear. Out of her. Wait. <laughs> but you are no match for them. You, you better take a plate. Do right. You, like what the fuck? Y'all see this? Where camera am I at? Right, right yeah, here. Main this? one. Uh, this one. Y'all see this shit? <laughs> Zoom in. This right here is going to be my liquor crate. I don't give a fuck. I'm fucking up any bitch. I don't care if it's a big bitch. I don't care if it's a little bitch. Don't talk to my man see this? crazy at all. Y'all see this? Especially if my man is validated and you the trifling oh one. This the one. Don't this talk to my man at all. This the one? This the one? So, so, okay, so. I don't so, play about mine. So, do you defend your partner? Depending yes. on if, like, if he was in the right or the wrong, I saw whatever. I, I'm, I'm, it's just like, like a work ethic, like. I'm going to always back up my employees as a manager, as an owner, or whatever. I'm going to back up my employees and they'll figure it the fuck out later, right? I'm not going to make you look stupid in front of no nobody else. Mm -hmm. My man, I feel like I'm going to know my man. So if something happened, I'm going to be like, yo, 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 wait, wait, hold on. If the girl's talking to me crazy, yo, slide, baby, slide, slide, slide. Slide. Homegirl, what's your problem? <laughs> I can call her a bitch yet. Homegirl, what's your problem? What, what you got? <laughs> no, 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 tell me what you meant. Okay, but you're talking to me right now. Cause you're not gonna talk to my man because you're trying to put hands on my man. Mm -hmm. You want him to put hands on you? It's a whole different situation. I'm not going to the, the police. I'm gonna beat your ass. Mm -hmm. They say Courtney will swing on a hoe. <laughs> you see these nails? I ain't gotta play with a bitch too much. You gonna scratch them? I'm a. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> these is two days fresh. <laughs> so I'm just saying, if that's my man, I'm gonna defend my man. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna figure out what happened later and then deal with that. But in this situation, you trying to come on my man crazy, so you gonna talk to me. Just like I worked in the industry too, I worked in nightlife, whatever. I don't approach a man about nothing because mm -hmm. I'm not a man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I'm gonna expect a man to defend me. That's why I call security. Nigga, you talking to me crazy? You don't wanna pay me? Cool. You talk to him now, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm leaving it alone. So if a man gonna talk to me crazy, I'm gonna need my man to step in and handle that. Yeah. Same principle. 
Okay. In principle. Jenny said, what do you do? Okay, what's the question? Because I want to uh, make sure <laughs> I answer it fully. <laughs> Jenny said, be drunk. I was triggered. Uh, <laughs> Jenny said, I, I see. <laughs> Jenny says, uh, not Jenny said. The question is, you at a bar when uh, someone picks a fight with your significant other. This person is the same sex as you, but you are no match for them. Do you defend your partner? Explain. Okay, so yes, I'm going to defend them. Um, but I'm going to try to defuse the situation. <laughs> like, like I'm great at talking, but I'm also great at making people mad. So it's like, which way you want to go at this? Because I can fight. You're not going to beat my ass. I will hit you with something. Um, but, <laughs> um, yeah, like, we can defuse this. We're having a good time. Let's have a good time. Okay. So you Even like if a bitch try to beat my ass, I'm still <laughs> you still going to catch something. So, so um, Courtney is going to fight. Janissa is going to try to defuse and then maybe fight. Yeah. Right. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna defuse it for. I'm gonna be like, yo, sis, what's going on? Yeah, and then you're gonna be sure. crazy, and I'm gonna be like, as <laughs> soon as like, you know, as <laughs> soon as I see there's no like, calming the bitch down. Yeah. It's just like, okay, bitch, you either want to get hit, or mm -hmm. what are we doing here? Because I'm not about to argue with you. I don't argue. That's that makes me an yeah. have anxiety. I don't want to <laughs> have anxiety. I'd yeah. rather have adrenaline. So I'm gonna try to whoop your ass. Because fast. I feel like she's gonna mm -hmm. look at you and be like, oh, you a little bitch, you weak, whatever. <laughs> I'm from the Bay right. Area, 707 area code. I don't play that shit. What is 707? The Bay I'm area. from the Bay Valley. Shit. First off, I don't talk. I hit. I'm going to slap the shit out you. You're not going to see it coming because girls that talk do all this shit. Ah, ah, ah. Um, wait, I want to see. Shit. I want to see. Wait, say that. Say that to me. Go. Okay. Talk, so, okay, go. So, <laughs> I'm be like, yo, yo, baby, slide. Like, I yo, love yo, this. Yo, sis, what happened? Da, da, da. Like, what happened? Da, da, da. Now tell me, who the fuck is you? Bop. Ah, like, I know that's right. You, hey. I'm not a client. Yes. I'm not a client. <laughs> who the fuck is that? Don't worry about the fuck I am. Worry about we be the bitch that beat your ass. That's what Period. you should worry about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you on the floor, ask me questions. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Baby, let's go. Pay the tab. Yo, no matter how you pay that bitch, yes. pay the tab. Bye. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, uh, so I guess uh, I guess I'm the only one uh, yes. that is not gonna go to Ralph's one more time. Ah. <laughs> so if the bitch is bigger than me and I'm big, if the bitch is bigger than me, I'm gonna be like, baby, you can hit her. Ah. So, so what did you hit, hit your man though? Hit her. Hit her. <laughs> he hit her. Babe, whoop that bitch <laughs> up. <laughs> That no, bitch, that no. bitch looks like a man. You can hit her. No. That's a man. It's Go ahead. The, it's gonna be the time that her and I are at the bar together, and she'll be like, Courtney, I'll be like, <laughs> you ain't gotta say nothing. To <laughs> like, oh, that bitch on the floor. That's that's crazy. Crazy. That really hurt my hand. But, but that's not. <laughs> not it hurt. I'm your just hand. saying, if I have <laughs> any chance to lose. If I see the bitch and I'm like, she kind of look manly, kind of look strong. But you know, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna lose you. in public. People will respect you for, no, for at least baby. trying. No, baby. I'd be like, baby, go fuck up. Girl, no, people are not going to respect you for trying, and then you're on the floor missing a Damn, that bitch shit. got fucked up. I got <laughs> fucked up. I, uh, I, <laughs> no. No, no, ma'am. I will be in that corner. I'll be like, baby, you have permission. You can hit a bitch tonight. Tonight. <laughs> 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 I'll post your bill. Fuck that hoe up. Yeah, 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 like, you fuck up. Home. Now we can leave. Let's go. Let's go home before the police comes out. All right. All right. All right. I'm not gonna Let's leave the scene and get her. I'm not going to I'm going to be a getaway up. driver. I know how to drive. But all I'm saying is I'm going to defend my man. If you're wrong, if my man is wrong, we'll deal with that later. Mm -hmm. We're, I'm not doing nothing embarrassing in public. We'll deal with that later. I don't later. even care if he's wrong or right. I'm just like, oh, she's fucking with you? Oh, fuck her. If she's bigger than me, fuck her. <laughs> like, is this sorry? I'm not taking no chances to get fucked like, up. Like, is she like a whale? That's it's, why you just grab a bottle. No, the whale are not that bad. It's not the, the fat bitches that are no, bad. That it's the one that, that like, ass. what if, like, the butch looking one that looks like a fucking dude. Oh, like, she, she fight all the time? She's talking too much. That's mm. why you grab a bottle and go, boop. <laughs> That's why you just run her ass over and, and get in your you, car and just and run. And then you go to fucking jail. <laughs> I'm not trying to do none of that, baby. No, you run. You bitch, you, you <laughs> box the bitch and you leave. The, the, the worst case scenario is you can't go back there because you owe money. Like, just send them Apple Pay. I don't know. I'm like, maybe hit her and we out. Maybe. <laughs> Knock maybe. this bitch out. Maybe she's rehearsing her back. Like, baby, we out. Like, All right, let's go. Knock <laughs> this bitch out, babe. Mm. This, I don't, this no, you guys crazy. This got me upset, though. This is crazy. She hot. You hot. But you know, the funny thing with me is that I've never been in a situation where... Yeah somebody came and tried me 
or tried my men. I don't know if it's because I'm kind of big that, that they're like, oh, we're not going to try. I feel like that's but, me, yeah. But it's like, like you seem mean. So people are like, no, I'm not going to go fuck her up. Me, I don't seem mean, I, I don't think. But I'm big. Mm -hmm. So I feel like they don't come and find nothing twice. with me. Like, especially those little short girls, like, they're not even trying. They yeah. know not to talk to my man. Like, they, they're not even trying. I feel like so. I have a, a kind of resting bitch face, not on purpose. Mm -hmm. I actually feel like I'm smiling, but I'm, apparently I'm not. Yeah. But I think <laughs> that they think that. They're like, oh, she think da da da. Yeah. Like, cool. I'm like, oh, cool. Like, talk to mm -hmm. my man. I, I used to get, cause my man used to talk to everybody. He'd be like, oh, my God, that's my girlfriend. Ah. But I'd be like, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be nice. I'm, I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a yeah. nice bitch. I'm not saying hi to everybody because you can. Mm -hmm. Like I'm a nice person when I get to know you, but at front I'm like, yeah, you know. Mm. All right. Well, that, that's that's all we have, I think, for tonight. <laughs> Those were my hey, latest bro. questions. Hey, oh my god. <laughs> Somebody said Me Melly looks like she'll knock a bitch out for real. I would. Yeah, I, feel like I you really wouldn't would. Talk but at all. You would I wouldn't just go. talk. I would see a bitch doing some craziness. I'd be like. What's up? Like, you know, I would just go yeah. and probably hit her. But, you know, I didn't, have, I didn't have papers for a long time, so I really tried to <laughs> not be on the scene, not be arrested, none of that, because, you know, as soon as so you're here illegally, I, I have a fucking temper. I have a temper, but I still be thinking. Even if I have the temper, I'm like, I be calculating, is, is it worth? Is do it I worth going to jail? Today. Do so I have your like money? Uh, mm -hmm. Can I be deported if I do this? Oh, I can be? Okay, so... I'm a chill. I'm gonna miss my New York <laughs> yeah. trip for this. Bop. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, so yeah, it's just I, I be still thinking, but yeah, there is a time for sure. She's got a thing. Well, I got papers. No, I'm it. here. I got I'll your ass, bitch, and I'll be back at this bar tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> I'm done. All right, guys. So that's it. We're gonna end the show. This was the first episode of Unclassified. So I appreciate y'all guys for for coming. This so this fun. is Courtney. Courtney Granny. Uh, granny, uh, three shots in, no mas. Yes. <laughs> three shots no in, mas, no mas. No That's mas. her IG. <laughs> Miss, uh, M-S underscore I underscore I am. A-M. Yes, A-M, yes. Mm -hmm. If you want to check out Janissa, this is uh, Ness underscore Queen Tally. I'm very peaceful, guys. Uh, apparently. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that, so be over there. Go over there <laughs> nah. under your own. Um, this is me. <laughs> I'm, I'm peaceful. So like I'm, they're both I have non a great peaceful. Life. That's what that's what I would say. Both non peaceful. We peaceful until so. you try me. Like I feel like people like like we're nice, but it's like when you like when you become disrespectful and kind of like ah, then I'm gonna let you know. Until mm -hmm. a Robert goes like ah, I have to go like <laughs> ah, fuck they talking She had it out for Robert. She was yeah, like fuck him. Robert, no sir. There's a lot of Roberts on my page, but that's fine though, cause y'all still looking. Yeah, so still looking. Thank where you, you at? Thank you for the view. Thank you for the like. Thank you for the support. Still looking. Mm -hmm. Still living where you at. And <laughs> okay, let me stop. Damn. <laughs> Whatever. All right. So, anything you guys want to say before you go? Before we go, because we're all going. Love the show. You know. Thank I you. I love this. This let, is great. Let her know you want me back. Cause you know what I'm saying. I'm yeah, let her know you want me back too. So. <laughs> but I'm the next time I more. come on here. I'll be looking scrumptious, jillyumptious. Is that what it is? Oh, that means yeah. you're showing titties. Scrum yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Shit. Yeah. Mm. yeah she got to come back. <laughs> she, put all twerk on the board. She, yeah, all twerk. <laughs> so, you guys, it's going to be a twerk night. Yes. Uh, again, before we leave, I got my book. If you guys want to go get the book, Hop please. Back. It's the ultimate love cheat code. At, uh, you can find it at sharpmelimonaco.com. Please cop one for me. I appreciate you. All right. That's all. That's all. We did it. We're done. This all is right. fun. I awesome. Like all right. It. You guys, good night. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.